Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, or if you're across the world on the other side, good evening. Tracy, hello. <laughs> look, at, look at my body. Brent, <clears throat> Roxy Red, Angel Wings, Lisa, PMA, Farm Girl, C Ward, Emily, Pearl, don't you start your shit. <clears throat> Rihanna, Jessica, uh, Mandela, Mama KB, Amy P, Sword God. Why? Every time when I do this, do you have to come over here? Ghost of 10 Bits Past. Hello. Uh, Daisy Player, Lisa Lisa. I'm the Violet, Violet Flame, Texas. Hello. Jazz, Michelle. Everyone, well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. And we have been radio silent, guys. Okay. What is the problem? Do you need some attention? You just trying to show your ass, huh? You want everybody to know you're here? They know. They hear you, Max. Murphy Smith, I seen you. Good luck with the kitty. Getting its new home. Hey, ghost. <laughs> we got several reasons why our girl could be... Re well, you know what? Let me take it back a little bit. She's not necessarily radio silent. Go away. But she's posting on her community tab claiming that there's problems with her Instagram. Good morning, Fat Apples. Lavender, C. Ward. <laughs> yes. Hey, Max. See, there you go, Max. Our Lady Chantel, Perpetual Poutine. Hello. Good morning. Paul is doing great. He fits in with the rest of the assholes perfectly. He just does his own thing. It's so weird. A stream first thing on my birthday. Good morning. Hey, it's Kels. Thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday. Everybody show Kells some happy birthday love, please. Lexi, hello. Stopping by to say hi. I'm at work, so I'll be listening in and out. Well, have a good day at work. Baba good Gadoosh. <laughs> Joey Jones, Tammy. Ways to Paul on top of the kitchen cabinet. You know, that was a one-time ordeal. <laughs> I don't know if it's because we just brought him home and he needed to check, scope the place and be safe and be on top of the world while doing it. But yeah, man, he's cool. He's so he's he's not real, you know, like hyper or anything like kittens normally are. He just chills. He eats. He sleeps. Does his own thing. He's a good cat. Good catch. He stinks though. He farts. I ain't never known of a cat to fart, and that one does. It's weird, and he really freaking stinks. That's probably why his ass got returned the first time. I <laughs> have from Australia. Is anybody getting excited? Girls, guys, fatty community. It's almost our time to shine. Please, let us not forget. Thanksgiving is going to come up in just a few days. I don't know. I know I'm not the only one, okay, that's going to show out on Thanksgiving. It's our holiday. Your cat can drop bombs. That's the first I've ever known of a cat to smell like that. What, bud? You just want me to love on you, don't you? I know. There. I'll scratch your butt. <laughs> cat farts, yeah. I had a farting Persian cat. You ready for the holiday bees? Us too. Did everybody uh, secure their turkey? Does the fatty community have the turkey secured? Okay, that is the number one question. And don't come talk about me talking to me about no ham neither, people. I ain't trying to hear it. Mary, hello, good morning. I have an entire menu spreadsheet. You know, <laughs> it was so funny. I was going through my hard drive the other day. <clears throat> and back to tamale. Okay, tamales. I'll, I'll let you have tamales, but no ham. Mm -mm. This is an anti-ham community unless it's Christmas time and bitch, it ain't Christmas. I don't want to hear it. I was going through my hard drive the other day and found um, an old Excel spreadsheet <laughs> that had all like my menu made out, my groceries. It was pretty embarrassing, but it is what it is when you're a fatty, you know? You Got to get yours today. Well, me and my girlfriend... Also, a fellow fatty community participant. <laughs> we're very worried because we watch the news, okay? And we're seeing shortage, and they keep talking about how there's going to be shortages of this and shortages of that. And when we go to the Walmart, the freaking things are empty. It's just empty. There's no turkeys in there. I'm like, oh, wow. We got to make this happen. 
So when they restocked at the Kroger's, we made sure to secure a turkey. Do not worry, people. We have turkey on hand, okay? We're having Nashies. No, you're not. I'm not hungry. Like that salad. That's not really it. Filled. No more Nashies. Don't, 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 don't more Nashies. Don't more Nashies. We will not be having Nashies on Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. All organized and shit. You gotta be. We take Thanksgiving very serious around here. You can have Christmas. You can have, you know, Easter, the rest of the holidays. Let us have Thanksgiving. That's what it's really all about, people. Christmas and chicken and waffles. Yeah, I guess, if that's what you want. <laughs> Tofu turkey. Some guy at my job got a turkey for seven bucks. We got ours. <clears throat> we got the biggest that they had. Shocking, I know. I know. We got the biggest one they had. I think it was... It wasn't even that big. How big was it, Sam? Um, 18 pounds, maybe, something like that. You have your turkey, Linda? Good. You got yours at the Aldi? The Aldi's have turkeys? I'm shocked. Aldi's has turkeys, huh? Well, they came a long way. Last time, <laughs> I remember when I was young, Mom used to go to the Aldi's to go grocery shopping, like, to get, like, the dented cans and shit. They didn't have nothing, and then you had to take your own grocery bags. It was a whole ordeal. We do chicken. You do chicken when, Lori Lou. Not taking Thanksgiving seriously because my birthday is right over. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> That's a big turkey. <laughs> well, we're big. We got a big turkey because we're big, bitches. Don't act like, look at y'all coming here acting like you're all skinny and shit. That's so big. Can't believe that they got a turkey that big. The nerve. The nerve. Hey, Joda. All these had to come up. You do their, they have curbside, Mary? Wow. Look at them. Canadian Thanksgiving is over. Pfft, you mean Beaver Day? <laughs> Just throw some slices of turkey sandwich meat on some paper plates and call it a day. Uh, that's called the day after Thanksgiving. Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Poutine. Thank you so much. Linda, it's your birthday too. Happy birthday. Hmm. Well, I know Sam drug me in the Aldi is not that long ago to look at, like, um, I guess they sell other stuff that's not food, but I didn't grocery shop there. <laughs> oh, my God, can you please make a sound bite of bitch, it ain't Christmas. <laughs> Damn it, Patrice, thank you for the super chat, and yes, I definitely will. Two butter balls, 16 and 13 pounds. You know what I really want to do? Hey, Rowdy Chats, I really want to fry a turkey. I just ain't got the <laughs> balls to do it because you know me. I'll blow some shit up. So I'm just going to get my regular turkey cooker and cook it in there and call it a day. But one day, people, one day, I promise you, I will fry turkey. But I feel like we got to have, like, the right property for it. Like, <laughs> so I can take it. Like, I want a house with some land. We'll take it outside, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. Stick a deep fryer out in the middle of that bitch and drop that turkey. That way, if it blows up, you know, I don't blow up the whole house. It's so intimidating. Oh, it's not your birthday? Well, fuck, I can't. Happy birthday to whoever has a birthday today or tomorrow. I'll probably be live tomorrow morning. I smoked my turkey a few years ago. It was so good. Ooh, deep fried down at the ranch. <laughs> yes, Texas, I'm going to. Making y'all hangry. Hello, tattoo my toes. Good morning to you. You're scared of that shit? Yeah, they always do those warnings on the news. And trust me, just like I ran the freaking uh, electric drill or the freaking drill through the water pipe, I blow the house up. I ain't doing it. Hey, Pinky Pink. It was so good. I have an acre and a half going over. <laughs> My stepmom makes turkey balls. It's like chicken nuggets, but turkey. Ooh, now that sounds good. Oh, Lindsay, is it your birthday? Hey, Lindsay with an A. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. <laughs> Everybody tell uh, it's Lindsay with an A, our mod. Happy birthday, please. And also go subscribe to her channel. She does some funny shit over there. Try me. Yabba, you are going on I'm thankful for a list this year. Happy Thanksgiving. Try me. Thank you so much. And I'm thankful for you guys. I really am. Uh, prime rib, $91 now. Fuck me. Dude, don't even talk to me about everything. Is going up. People really got the audacity. They're like, McDonald's is like, yeah, we'll hire you for $17 an hour. And then the price of everything goes up. So, yeah, you're making more on the hour. But you're paying for it in the long run. 
Like, come on, man. Give people a break here. 35, huh? The big 3-5. That's a good number. Have a good day, hun. <coughs> Deep fried turkey is the best. I'm hopeful for it's an adventure. <laughs> we'll have to vlog it. Oh, look at all the birthday love. Hey, buttered crumpet. Everything is so expensive, dude. Uh, eight fifty a gallon, Joey. Where do you live, California? Pff, get out of there. It really is, Nikki. It's crazy. I don't know how they expect people to su to survive. Like people who do just have, you know, like regular jobs and stuff who don't necessarily have careers and don't make that much money. I do not know how these people are supposed to survive. I really don't. It's so sad. Hey, DV. The pay bonus only is like for five months. After that, they cut the pay. That's what covered. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. That's crazy. Our gas is like, I think it's up to 327 which is really freaking expensive, especially if you drive something that, you know, like a truck. It takes me like $80 now to fill up my tank. And compared to like, I don't know, a year ago, it was only taking 60 if that. Bay Area is five. Holy fuck. Oh, congratulations, Dilly. Even though you're poor, at least you have that house, okay? <laughs> you see the change, the stream? Yes, Kenzie. I've already got your video uh, queued up, by the way. So, <clears throat> wow. So, I guess that's what we got to look forward to is gas going up to three to five dollars, huh? Uh-uh-uh. Fanta stick. <sighs> yeah, 80, exactly. <laughs> it's expensive. Hey, Margie B. Sorry, I missed you. Your minivan is 65 to fill. Yeah, it's crazy. 110. Wow. My cats are playing with my shoes. Okay. Did he take her back? Let, let's get into what you guys want to talk about, okay? The Chantel saga. Hey, Resnor. Resnor the cat. You're going to get a moped. When gas got real expensive that first time a few years ago, what was that, like, I don't know, eight years ago or some shit? You've seen a lot of uh, mopeds on the street. Even on the highways. You were shook. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, well, I mean, Sam's got a car, but we always like to drive the truck just because, you know, we're fatties. It's more comfortable. Hell. So she is claiming that she's having some problems with her Instagram. <laughs> That's right, Brant. Um... I don't know exactly what kind of problems she could be having unless she's suspended or blocked. I mean, her Instagram's still... she That's the thing with Chantel, guys. You got to remember. DUI scooters. <laughs> I'm dead. Hey, Angie. Chantel will lie about anything. Oh, and take it back to the other day. You know, when a girl's wrong, she's wrong. When you're wrong, you're wrong. Okay? I might have been wrong about how you, can, uh, you can't switch out that quick from other emails. You can. Okay, my bad. But still, it proved that she has access to his account either way. Okay, let's, hey, big beautiful me, or big bitterful, bitterful me. Not you, Chantel, sit down. Those pics she posted, it's embarrassing. It was cringy. Nobody wants to see you when you were 15 years old. Nobody cares. She had me blocked on IG for months. She had me blocked too. She don't have me blocked. I, I'll even follow her. It's so funny. Hey, Chrissy. No, well, then that's the thing. She took did she she took down the live stream and then renamed the stream with uh her and Nodder got into a fight, right? Let me pull it back up. Let me see. But she took down her live stream, right? Oh, nope. see yeah and then she titled the one from three days ago when she got into it with Nodder and she was all crying super emotional stream what was the original name of it you just misspoke <laughs> that's right tattoo my toes 
Hello, angel with tattoos. He probably changed her password when he took her phone. Well, I don't know. Sam made a good point. Maybe she's sitting on a uh, strike. Hello, Sarah. We're just getting started. Because she said she can't stream. I mean, I doubt it. You're a joke. Yeah, that's what it was titled. You're a joke. Thought you guys were talking to me. I'm like, damn, what I do? <laughs> so she changed it from you're a joke to super emotional live stream, which is setting at 47K. Man, oh man, this girl's laughing all the way to the bank. Since when does Chantel Foodie Beauty get 47,000 views? <laughs> but here's the thing, Chantel. You can be proud of that 47K, but it's going to be short-lived because when you ain't on there acting like an ass and fighting with your uh, so-called boyfriend, you're not going to get that 47K, okay? I just got to... We've been on for about 16 minutes, I think. She has been bald since she was with BB. She started losing her hair around that time, yeah. Hey, MC. We don't know Popper lives. She just put it on her uh, community tab that she cannot stream. And that for people to go follow her on Facebook. Because she can't even post on Instagram. So I don't know. Could she have been reported? I mean, reporting really doesn't do anything. I mean, maybe her video got flagged for something. That's And she got, maybe she's on like um, a timeout. I don't know. This is a cash grab. Or people... We could take a look at the thumbnail here, and maybe, by chance, they went ahead with the cabin purchase. Maybe they're setting it, they're setting it, um, can you pop in the link to join, please? What do you want to join, Lisa? <coughs> I thought they were saying it to you, too. I was like, why are they building and attacking her to death? I know, I was like, oh, gosh. But maybe they went ahead with the cabin purchase. And they took some time offline because they're now a loving couple. And they decided, hey, we don't need to put all our information and all our personal business out on the YouTubes. Maybe they're finally getting their life together. And they're happily ever after in the cabin, you know? It's possible. <laughs> it's possible, right? Didn't she go to her mom's for her birthday? I don't know, MB. I mean, I've, I've, I may have been over on the uh, Kiwi Farms and seen the pictures that they posted from her mom's birthday. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I've seen that Chantel wasn't in any of those pictures. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not going to share them here. No, no. I can't help what the farms do. Mm -hmm. Those pictures did not show any proof that Chantel was at her mom's for her birthday. Hello, Heather. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, they could have worked it out, okay? They could be living a happily ever after right now. Hey, sup and Kuma. Hello, hello. I think Nader put her in timeout. Well, here's the thing. If Chantel was sitting on a strike, then she would definitely be spending more time on Nader's channel. We haven't seen any more cooking videos, right? Doubt she was there. Mm -hmm. Nader isn't allowed over there. Could you imagine? You must have dozed off. <laughs> if I get quick uh, quiet, it's because I'm either thinking or looking for something. How embarrassing. Could you imagine your sister and your uh, aunt and everybody going to see your mom and you're stuck at what? Some crack shack with the love of your life? Get the fuck out of here, Chantel. She probably has a black eye, Lucy. I've been thinking about that. Because she's going to keep fucking with him, and he's going to fucking snap. Hey, Rach Marie. Good morning to you. Good morning to the baby. Always worry he undead her. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, Danny. <laughs> hey, Miss Two Bears. But, who knows? She'll probably be, uh, she'll show up star like she always does. But our lovely Kenzie Christians... I'm going to pin her uh, channel because you guys, she's the best receipt channel around, I'm telling you. Not only is she a receipt channel, she takes out all the bullshit so we ain't got to see it. There's her channel. So the video that she um, took down the other day was like, dude, it was almost six hours long. Could you imagine? Six hours long. This girl's got it down to like 48 minutes. 
That's what we're going to watch. Hold on, let me pull it up. Who's got the clip? Also, if somebody could drop it in my um, DMs. Have you ever seen? Yes. Jamie, are you kidding me? I love Stacy. We just encouraged her the other day to come back. We need her in our life. She has some of the best shit, okay? And she's old school, too. She does uh, Amy and Tammy before they turned into celebrities on the TLC show. She's still around Fat Apples, I guess. I don't know. She was beezing. <laughs> Anyways, if anybody has the, um, just, no, never mind, don't worry about it, because I've already got it pulled up, me and Sam were watching it this morning. I'm going to let this play for a minute, and I'm going to get that clip ready where she came into Pizza's uh, video. That's, that's really, it's got to be talked about. We've got to analyze it, we've got to slow mode it, we got to do all the good shit. Thank you, girls can do anything. Love your screen name, by the way, and yes, they can. <laughs> Who's on Twitter? Sam's at work this morning, guys. Who's, who y'all talking about? Hold on, let me get this ready. She got put on Kiwi Farms as being Chantel's therapist. Who? Cabin in the Woods is a romance, right? <laughs> Depends. A romance or a murder. The Pete's video camo is so good, Katie. I literally have watched that probably about 50 freaking times because it's just like, I didn't realize how close Chantel held the camera to her face and how different she looks when she's not using the filters and everything. It was crazy. Yeah, Stacy's on Twitter. Well, I know that. What's that got to do with the damn thing? I know she's on Twitter. I'm saying she's not doing videos. She, what, is she posting her videos on Twitter? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No. Cabin words of straws. <laughs> you were shocked too. And 330 pounds, my ass, Chantel. More like 430. Ain't no way. <laughs> Someone in chat told her to get out before it gets worse. She thought it meant verbal abuse. It's like she doesn't believe that he will hit her again. He totally will. Uh, Black Butterfly, yeah. He will whoop her ass. Have y'all seen that video that's going on? Who posted it? Somebody posted it on Twitter of a football player um, going in on his, uh, his baby mama. Man, you talk about fucking frightening, dude. You vote 430, 450 at least. No way she's 330. No freaking way. She's huge. And it's so crazy, like, because she'll show her body. Like, Chantel doesn't have her body. And so she's got to be using some kind of filter, and somebody said that somewhere, that makes her look slimmer. Hey, Pamela, because in Pete's video, dude, no, she looked compl like a different person. D yeah, Kenzie, that one video was terrifying. That girl is lucky she even made it out alive. Hold on, maybe I should find that video first. Let's see. I was watching it this morning, so it's in my history. Don't worry. I'm a stalker like that. And I've already got it pulled up. God, I'm so funny. That's so fucking cool. I swear to God, it's a great shit. I crack me up, man. I really do. Man, Pete's and his mukbangs, huh? Let me unmute it. Yeah, I feel like this is the one we... This is it. This is the money shot. We need to watch this one first. Now, I'm not looking at the chat. You guys realize, I just want to make sure that we're clear on a few things. You guys realize that I'm not looking at the chat like the whole time that we're live. So, never take me not acknowledging you personal. Like, I could literally be looking at chat one second and look over at the other screen. I got a lot going on, like with windows pulled up and stuff. And especially when I get into telling a story, I have to look away from the chat or y'all will distract me. That's why I run over my words and stuff a lot because I'm trying to, like, trying to keep up with the chat, trying to talk, trying to remember all that. Don't ever get offended if I don't see you. Plus, there's so many of you guys and it just flies by. But anyways. Hold on. Okay, yeah, here it is. <laughs> this is so great. 
We'll watch, <laughs> we'll watch it in normal speed, and then we'll kick it down to slow-mo, okay? The fact that we even get your lies is a blessing itself. It's okay if you don't see everything. Say, thank you, Fanta Stick. I appreciate that. And I mean, it's, you know. <laughs> is it Christmas A yet? lot of We're people go there. through that phase, obviously. But. Hi, Fess. Can I use your charger? <laughs> Sorry to bomb your milk thing. Hi, everybody. Oh, I, absolutely. Big, bitterful me. That was my point, is that Chantel is going to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing. And not that it's ever okay for anybody to hit anyone. But we already know that he's violent. We already know what he's capable of. He's been in jail for it. She's not going to stop. Alex Glitter Queen, hello. The fact that you say hi to everyone is amazing. I try, Alex. I really do. I don't want anybody to feel left out. Buddy. I'm Look not alive or anything. Um, Look, <laughs> Look at this. No, she can't breathe. Are you kidding me? Hold on. I just want to take a look at the still. Hi, everybody. Hi, hey, everybody. She's so funny. I'm not a... Look at this. This is how she... This... When you... When we're watching Chantel, this is how close her face is to the camera. She is zoomed all the way in, dude. Look at that. How does she even read like that? <laughs> Hey, everybody. <laughs> she makes me laugh. I don't give a fuck. She does make me laugh. I hate how he does that weird. He is weird, period. God, he's so weird. Anyways. Live or anything. Uh, just a regular video. Can I use your charger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking about how. Uh... <laughs> look at these two fucks. Look at. I'm a real man. Look, look at my body. Look at my body. Look, look, look at my body. How we met. Are the nachos good? Yep. <laughs> Look at, listen to the conversation! Listen to it! Listen to it! I'll take it back. Just listen. Just ch ch Look, I know we want to listen and we want to laugh and we want to do slow-mo and everything. These, these are two... I don't know how old Pete's is. I'm going to say he's around the 40 mark, okay? <laughs> Look at my body. Hey, Tara. Look, look, look at my body. Calm down. Okay, no more of that. <clears throat> Let's get serious. I know it's such a small clip, but there's a whole lot going on in this few seconds. Take it in. Listen to the conversation. These are two adults, people. Just listen to what they say to each other. Just listen. I'm your milk thing. Hi, everybody. I'm not on live or anything. Uh, just a regular video. Can I use your charger? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking about how, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yep. <laughs> how we met and became friends. Oh, cool. Remember when we used to, like, go out behind that school? Oh, and I used to pee outside? <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't mention it. You have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I used to, like, going to the school to pee. And poop. <laughs> I, I don't even know if I should feel bad about even laughing at this shit at this point. <laughs> I, I don't I, I, I don't because I just don't know it's, it's something they are both adult babies <laughs> look. look at my body take away the fact that she looks horrible here and that's it's obvious that she's not only using filters on her face but she's using filters on her whole freaking body <laughs> Pamela welcome to the official support group thank you so much we appreciate you Fit and curvy. She has little T-Rex arms. She does. Fuck that. Fuck how they look, though. Listen to the freaking... The interaction between these two adults. They're talking about poop. He's literally asking her a question, and she's like, well, how's the nachos? Just listen to it again, okay? And then we're going to do a slow-mo. I just got to hear it one more time. This is going to be one of my sh favorite Chantel clips. I'm not even lying, dude. Look at this weird mukbang that he's doing from the <laughs> side. It's like he's hitting it from the side, people. He's like, uh, uh, uh. Chantel looks like she's that leopard and is digesting it with tiny arms. Mm -hmm. It's the stupids. Yes, Artie lad. It is the stupids. Listen. And I mean, it's, you know, a lot of people go through that phase, obviously. 
Hi, Beth. Can I use your charger? <laughs> Sorry to bomb your milk thing. Oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm not on live or anything. <laughs> look I'm just a regular video. Look. Can I use your charger? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking about how, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yep. How we met and became <laughs> friends. Oh, cool. Remember when we used to like go out behind that school? Oh, and I used to pee outside? Look right now, Kristen from Flint. Welcome to the official support group. Thank you so much for joining. We appreciate you. Why is her face so close to the fucking phone? Look, look at how, look at this. I need, I need to go back and pull up exactly that timestamp when she was in his room and look at that, that view. Why is it so close to your face, girl? My word, like I get it, like, you know? Hell, I'm gonna put the camera up high too. I don't want everybody to see how fat I am either. But damn, dude, that seems dangerous. And you're walking around like that with your track. Does she go out in public? She's been going out in public with her camera. I don't understand either. Okay. She's been going out in public. She's been going out in Canada like this, right? In Ottawa. Are you telling me? Are you telling me? That when she walks in these stores and stuff, she's got this phone. She's so unself aware, dude. She is. She's going in a store and she's got the tripod on her boob and like the phone right in her uh, face. And she's like, I'd like one, please. The way that she comes into view, it's so close because she literally can't hold her arm out. Oh my God. I'm dead. <laughs> Mary Cap, thank you for the super chat. I'm dead. I can't help it. I love this clip. I could watch this clip the whole show. I could. I didn't mention it. You have. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I used to like going to the school to pee. <laughs> and poop. You, I did? Oh, yeah. You poop right behind the dumpster. Oh, well. But she, yeah, she'd pee a lot. She'd go back there and yeah, we'd go back there and that, <laughs> I didn't want to mention it, but since she did, it's okay. <laughs> since she did, it's okay. Does that take the least amount of energy holding it that close? I, I think they, they're saying that she holds it that close because of her little short arms. Let me, let me see. Okay, hold on. She can't see with her beat as yet, but that's why. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. Jennifer, thank you for being a member for three months. And Tara, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> T-Rex arms looking ass. <laughs> Future dead camper. Thank you for being a member for two months. We appreciate you. Hold on. Okay, I feel like now it's slow-mo time. We'll go on to the other video. Just hold on, okay? I feel like this is important. Let's see. But... I just want to pee so we can. <laughs> What's so wrong with pee. using toilets? Chantel, I guess, is always shit out in the wild. Those filters she uses are the real MVP. Yeah, they are, Tasha. Um, I thought that she was lying about all week because I don't know how she does it. I remember the last time I peed outside. We were on a road trip from Texas. And I was actually skinny then. I want to say, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was skinny, okay? Like skinny, skinny. Not like skinny, skinny, but skinny. Under 200 pounds, bitches. Anyways, um, I pissed all over my pants. I, I don't know how to do it. I guess maybe she's a pro. But I, I don't know how she could do it being five foot one and probably damn near 400 pounds. I don't know how she manages to do it. I really don't. But anyways. Here. She doesn't wipe either. Hi, okay. everybody! Hi, everybody! Hey, electric popsicle. I'm not on live. Look at her! Look at her! Uh, just a regular <laughs> video. Can I use your charger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the way I feed in the woods on a hike. I don't know. Maybe I'm just very bad at it. I, I just don't get it. Anyways, look at the way that she says, can I use your charger? Look at the way. I know she's looking at her phone, but still it looks hilarious. 
After she says, can I use your charger? Watch her face. Hi, everybody! I'm not on live or anything. Uh, just a regular... This is TMI, but I camp a lot, so I'm an expert at number one and number two outside. Whitney, I get it, and there are lots of people that probably are, but we are talking about Chantel, and she doesn't do it. I just want a piece all weekend. I just want a piece. I just want a piece. And she doesn't do it because she's camping. She just, I don't know why she does it. There's no reason to. Thank you for the super chat, Abby. When I went to China, I was quickly able to adapt to those squat toilets. Uh, toilets i'm assuming it's the same as squatting outside thank you abby for the super chat so they squat over in china do they huh i'll be damned just just watch <laughs> just watch video can i use your charger yeah oh yeah. we didn't get to see it there was something up on the screen truth is most recent uploads showed the side by side of hers and his videos is that what you do you are you saying that's why she took it down or are you tell me the name of somebody's channel thank you for being a member for two months by the way truth is most recent uploads showed the side by side oh okay so that's the name of somebody's channel i'll pull it up hold on we gotta do it again people we gotta see it in its full glory here it comes here it comes <laughs> just look at her look at that gift would you it's like Christmas every day. It's the name of the channel. Okay, hold on just a second. I'm live or anything. Uh, just a regular video. Can I use your charger? Yeah. <laughs> you see yeah, I'm smile. just talking about how, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yep. <laughs> how we met and became friends. Oh, cool. Remember when we used to, like, go up behind that school? Oh, and I used to pee outside? Oh, wow. I found it. Okay. Thank you for telling me that, by the way. Okay, so we have a channel called Truth Is. I'll put it in the chat. Hold on. <laughs> You're obsessed by the... Artie lied. This is the best video so far. Yuck, I can't stand Pete's picking his teeth. Thank you, Ghost of Timbit. I appreciate the uh, super chat. Hold on. We'll move on, okay? I can't help it. I just feel like this is an important part of the foodie beauty history. Well, that will go down in history, okay? Because we don't get to see Chantel without the filters and things, okay? So this is why it's such a big deal. Anyways. And I mean, it's, you know, a lot of people go through that phase, obviously. She was depressed. Pete's didn't offer her a bite. Produce not pills. Thank you for the super chat. She uh, was, they were supposed to buy food together. I don't know why she didn't. Thank you for making my work mornings fun. Thank you, Jennifer, for being here. We appreciate you. I'm waiting for it to pop on the screen before I push, uh, before I push play. It's a good one. <laughs> so we get to see, I got to move this damn desk. They keep hitting against each other. We get to see Chantel's, you know, when she's so close up. I'm to a real face. man. You'll see. I'm a real man. Look at my body. Look at my body. Look at my body. Look at my body. <laughs> Chantel, you ain't even gotta go live. We got enough freaking content to work with forever. But. Hi, Beth. Can I use your charger? <laughs> Sorry to bomb your milk thing. <laughs> there she is that's why it looks so close look at her look at this see the view from her channel this channel is great i'm not on live or anything uh, just a regular video can i use your charger yeah yeah i'm just talking about how, how we met are the nachos good yep how we met and became friends oh cool Remember when we used to, like, go up behind that school? Oh, and I used to pee outside? I didn't mention it. You have. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. I'm slowly going to the school to pee. And poop. No, dude. I think, yeah, I think y'all are right about her arms being so short is why. I think because she, she holds it so close because you don't see her huge. You see it, but you don't see it the way you... You, it just, she's a professional now. She really is. Oh, there's no way she's 3.30. There's just not, this is the best thing ever. One more time, then we'll move on, okay? Just one more time. And I mean, it's, yeah. A lot of people go through that phase, obviously. But. Hi, Beth. Can I use your charger? <laughs> Sorry to bomb your milk thing. That's what we always see. This is what we see of Chantel. It doesn't look anything like what about what Pete's is about to show. I wonder if she drip dried back then too. I'm sure. I'm not on live or anything. Look. Uh, look, look at that head. Can I use your charger? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking about how, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yep. How we met and became friends. Oh, cool. Remember, remember when That's we used to like, go up behind that Look at that. Pool? Oh, and I used to pee outside. I didn't mention it. You have. I'm freaking dead, dude. So dead, Chantel. Thank you so much for that gift. We really do appreciate it. Why her arm is so short? She just deformed or something due to her mom and uncle's situation. <laughs> because she's got a funkel. That's why her arms are so short. I'm freaking dead. I'm just going to shut up now. Anyways, okay. Back to the, the uh, deleted live stream from 1117. Thank you so much, Kenzie, for this gift. Her channel is pinned to the top of the chat too, guys. Please do not forget, go subscribe. I want to know what filters she, I want to know what filters she uses so I can use them. That channel is awesome. That was really good how they did the, uh, the side by side. She's that kid in school that always smelled like pea and chicken noodle soup. And to think about that, like, to, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm the one that started the Funkle thing. And then people were like, uh, yeah, but can you please knock it off? It's really disgusting. Oh, that's fine. I'm not saying you're Funko anymore. That's fine. <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> Kenzie, you're the best man. Turn her up. You're all going to give me shit today. Sweet Leaf, happy birthday. Guys, give Sweet Leaf some happy birthday love in the chat. Oh, how old are you today? Let me guess. 22. If you're not 22, you're 22 at heart. Don't you forget it, neither. She's got funkalitis. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Exactly, Roxy Red. Okay, look, I told people I wouldn't talk about it, but fuck it, we're making an exception today. It's almost the holidays. It's Thanksgiving. It's our time to shine in less than a week, okay? If we want to talk about the Funkel, let us. Let us have our time, okay? Can we watch Tree Lady next? Oh, Jamie Carpenter, maybe. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Did you see the picture she posted of herself? At uh, yeah, she's, she's a fucking creep. Nobody wants to look at you when you were 15, Chantel, and quit say, sharing the same damn picture. She, she's done shared that one like 20 times to prove that what? You were once not 400 pounds? Nobody cares, okay? Anyways, yeah, she looks just like her uncle, okay? And I think, I'm just going to say it. If you don't like the Funkle Talk, plug yours for just like two minutes, okay? I'll get it over with quick. <clears throat> I think that's why our mom babied her so much when she was little and why she babied her, babies her um, up until, what, about two, three months? And, and since Nodders came along. Remember when her mom came over and cleaned her room? You remember that? Remember when Chantel showed her room? It was clean, clean, like top to bottom, spick and span clean. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Because her mom came over. Her mom came over and, and cleaned her room for her. Mm-hmm. Well, the reason that her mom does that, 
Probably gave her money. Gave her all kinds of stuff to shut her up. Gave her all kinds of food, gift. Remember remember when Chantel did? Chantel is 37 years old. Do you remember when she did a, um, what was it called? Did she do a Christmas haul? Yeah, she did a Christmas haul. And her mom and her family gave her a bunch of food, gift cards for, for Christmas and shit. Well, it's because they feel guilty. They feel guilty because her mom fucked her uncle and had Chantel. And it's just what I'm they a did. Man. Okay? I didn't, I, I'm not the one out here... I didn't do this situation. Her mom did. Walmart shoes, <laughs> Badisti, nut butter, sludge. You have arrived. Welcome to the Funkel Talk. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. So anyways, I want to rage so bad. Well, somebody send her the Funkel clip. That might push her over the edge. I don't know. <laughs> anyways, let's continue. Look, if you put, if you slap, if you slap some hair strands and put a toboggan on our uncle, It'll look just like her. Go go see. He's on the farm's hell. <laughs> Do I look like the burglar from Home Alone? Okay, so what's going on? I need a coffee! If I don't get a coffee soon, I'm gonna lose my mind. I know. Incest shaming. I'm dead. Mean brain. Fuck. Okay, listen. Okay, I fucked up bad. I, le I really fucked up. These are coffee candies. I, I don't know. I saw them at the cash at Adonis when I was last there. Buying groceries. Oh, uh, when she was buying groceries. Oh, look, you even put little comments up from her chat. Look at that. You are getting nifty with this now. Come on. I love it. <clears throat> her mom didn't open palm slap the stupid off of her as a kid because she knew Chantel's existence was her punishment from God. <laughs> Pinky Pink, thank you for the super sticker. Trees. Actually, I bought a lot of groceries and a lot. I just said whatever. Like, I was gonna bring them to my house and I'm like, I don't, I'm not gonna cook them. They're gonna rot. So I may as well do groceries, edit his video, and I get a meal out of it, right? I know you guys are gonna think, oh no. Okay, let's go get coffee because I'm freaking dying here. I think <clears throat> so, once again, <laughs> my uncle is hot. What's up? You're a sicko, Texas. Why don't you calm down and sit over there and think about what you just said. <laughs> is this hard trying to help me since I'm raising a toddler and working full time, you know, like an adult? Yeah, but Mary, this is not, that, that, that is not this. So Chantel, what Chantel's trying to tell us here is that she went and spent a bunch of money at Adonis and got a lot of groceries that she left at Nodder's house, recorded and edited his videos for a meal. Mm -hmm. That's what she's saying. I just want to make sure y'all follow along. Let's spend the day together. I have therapy at three. I want to go before this bus. Ha! You're not going to get me, bus. Okay, let me just put this on here. I can't look at the chat. I know you guys are going to expect me to like backtrack, try to backpedal everything I've just said in the past few days, but I'm not going to because I'm stupid. Yes. There's a lot of drama with us and we fight and on camera, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm impulsive and I can never shut my mouth. Let's just say. Exactly, Mary I Beth. I got the groceries. Cooks good food. I like to eat it. Now, so the deal was, <laughs> that's like a business transaction. I'll cook the food. I get a meal. Or he's like, oh, like he cooks, I get a meal. And he's looking for an editor. But I edited and like accidentally left it apart. And I'm, whenever I see that, we were watching it, and I'm like, oh no, it's gonna look bad. Because it looks like we're, like, fighting. $300 is not even all she spent. Exactly. Like, she edited his video, so think about the cost of that, and think about the cost for her to just, uh, record it. Like, she's paying for it all. She's a freaking fool. Or whatever, but that's like, honestly, we weren't even fighting or anything there. Like, that's, he talks, like, he's very animated when he talks. He talks a lot with his hands and like if you actually listen to the context he was actually like and i'm not excusing like because honestly if he does something shitty you know i'm gonna come on here and like yell about it like i always do this shut up chantel unpaid discord babysitter oh speaking of bunny i just realized you changed your name speaking of we need to uh can y'all give me the link for the discord and drop in the chat please one of you mods um Guys, yes, please go join the Discord. They've got it very festive over there. It looks like they're doing a whole Christmas card thingy. Um, and also, I just want to point out that I am not 
babysitting <laughs> the Discord, okay? I haven't even had time to go over there in a few weeks. I know I'm already being shamed for it, okay? So if you're going to go in there, go in there at your own risk. If you get in a fight, that's on you. I ain't got nothing to do with it, okay? Just remember that. You suck at editing, Chantel. Afromaniac, good morning. Hello. Was like asking me if I, you know what I mean? Like asking me my preference. So it might sound like in a mean way, but he was actually like trying to like make sure I liked something that he was making. So like honey or syrup and like I changed the subject without listening. And you guys know I do that, you know? So anyway, I just wanted to say that. I'm not like just trying to smooth things over, but I know people are talking about it. Actually, it didn't take long. Like I put out his video and then like 10 minutes later, I think I seen like on his timeline, like the part that was cut out. So I was like, okay. Anyway, so that's what happened. I know you're not going to believe me. So, but if you do, good. Hey, Amanda. That's honestly what happened. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to leave. What happened is in my editor, like I went to cut out the piece, not just that, but also i cut out pieces where i'm talking right i don't like to like have much talking in his videos i cut out the piece where no he tells you to cut your ass out chantel where i'm like talking too it's just and heavy breathing so yeah i'm freaking hyper and you're gonna get it because i'm clear-minded right now i need some coffee i slept crappy but that's all right gonna go see the cats i have therapy at three i think it's three yeah three two or three Anyways, I just want to have a nice positive morning. I just wanted to explain what happened. You guys are going to like obviously form your own opinions and you have a right to do that, right? So Come you have a right to believe what you want too. I'm not trying to, you know. You have eyes, you have ears, no, you can observe Funkle. everything. Stop it. Knock it off. Not Dunkle. Not Father Uncle. It's Funkle. <laughs> it sticks. Okay? Think yourself. Fall felt very long this year because of Vlogtober. <laughs> the never ending month of no, no content. I did do some, you guys. I didn't do a single video every single day, but I did do some Halloween themed videos. Mix in between that the drama of my life. I can't imagine all of this drama unfolding behind the scenes. Is that weird? Like, it's not like I like for it to be public it's just i can't imagine it not being <laughs> i don't know it's like really we really weird i don't know it like makes makes experiencing life less lonely in a lot of ways i don't know maybe like other live streamers experience this because if you're if you do live streams there must be a reason you like doing them like amberlyn doesn't do them anymore right so she probably they were not pleasant for her or they made her uncomfortable me and i they were boring, Chantel. She wasn't showing us good shit like you do. That's why. And as soon as you knock it off, your views are going to tank too. At this point, Chantel is consistently trying to convince herself more than her morons. Oh, absolutely. Like, the people in her chat give her a bunch of shit now. Thank you for the super chat. Vlogtober was a flop, Chantel. Absolutely. Good morning, Yavin support group. Fighting a code over here. Glad you're live. Rebecca, we hope you feel better. She tells lies as easy as breathing. If Chantel's talking, she's lying. I find the opposite. Like, I like talking to you guys <laughs> and seeing you guys pop in. It makes me happy. If I see all my regular people, you know? Like, it's like a, it is an actual community. You guys are my community. Hold on. Listen to this shit. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to park here, but I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm just changing my phone around. Monique? Where's Monique? People are yeah, getting Yeah, but the Funko... That trips people up. That's why the Funkle sticks. I mean, if you say Uncle Daddy, everybody's like, oh my gosh. But if you call it a Funkle, then they get to think about it when they finally get it. They're like, oh yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, so it sticks. Make a lot of shit, you know that? Funkleberry, yes. Leave Monique alone. I can't look at the chat, but okay. Ooh, I somebody had a good conspiracy theory that Monique is Chantel. Mm -hmm. I have a really bad hair day today, so I'm just... Actually, and it was what really hair? cold, so I wanted to put my hat on. I don't think I'm that hungry. I weighed myself yesterday. It was like 3.44. I'm gonna weigh myself when I get home. I hope I lost something. I always fluctuate these body. 10 pounds. I don't know. I guess it just depends what I eat, how much sodium, water, reten water retention, all that crap. I don't enjoy eating anymore by myself. Like, it's weird, I realize that. And it's not <laughs> enjoyable. It's not the She's a freaking liar.
Stella, hello. I'm looking at her chat. Her chat is usually pretty brutal. Wait, what do you mean you don't like eating by yourself? Chantel, you don't like his food. Why are you trying to convince him? Nobody cares. Nobody cares whether or not that you like his food. Nobody cares whether or not you like to eat alone or with him. We know that you like to eat alone and you like to binge alone or with Pete's or whatever away from him, okay? Why are you sitting there telling these lies? We know that you're lying just to convince what? You or are you trying to convince Nodder? One of the two. Same cooking and eating with someone who doesn't like enjoy food the same way. Yeah, it's still busy. <laughs> I gotta wait 50 you, years. I, you know, you know and I know that Chantel <laughs> does not enjoy sitting down eating with Nodder. Okay, we've seen the way that Chantel eats. With her mouth open, she barely breathes. She chokes a lot when she eats. And you're telling me that she, she eats the same way in front of him? I doubt it. She probably cleans it up. Doesn't eat as fast. Probably eats with her mouth shut. Hates every minute of it. Not only does she hate the food, she hates the fact that she gets to sit there and eat with her mouth closed because he would probably flat out call her, call her a disgusting pig. Monique has a side pony and receding hairline. Prove me wrong. What the fuck? For a coffee. <laughs> oh, sure. Cut me off. Is today Thursday or Wednesday? EG? I see my mom privately. It's supper day. Oh. Oh, she sees her mom privately, huh? Uh-oh. Monique is Karate Joe. Karate Joe is too poor to be super chatting or signing up for anybody's memberships, okay? Karate Joe's living at home in his mommy's basement and only gets an allowance and he spends it all on freaking uh, porn on the internet. Hold on a minute. Let me take it back a little bit. I want to hear what she says because we're not going to show him here, but I'm not going to deny the fact that I can't help it that somebody posted the pictures from her mom's birthday in the Kiwi Farms. Please don't go over there shitting up the thread neither unless you're going to say something really funny and smart, okay? Just don't do it. Anyways, um, she was nowhere in those pictures. Ooh, good job, fat apples. Let, let's see what she says about her mom's birthday. Oh, sure, cut me off. Is today Thursday or Wednesday? EG? I see my mom privately. It's supper day. For her birthday. It is not. Today's Thursday. No, it isn't. I'm calling bullshit. She might have called her mom, but she didn't go over there. Exactly, Mary Beth. Well, I'm assuming when she says private, she probably means without taking her camera. And, and uh, I don't even think they'll, they'll allow her to bring her camera and turn it on in their house. Hey, sneaker girl. She always binges after leaving his house. Yes, yeah, she binges after she leaves anybody's house. She's, and she's talked about that. She's t went back in the day, like back in old school Chantel days, she would talk about like, uh, because she would have to go to like her old hometown or whatever to see her mom and how she would stop at all the fast food places. Anywhere she goes and has to drive, she's eating. Okay, she ain't just driving. She's eating. And it's not Wednesday, you guys. Hold on a minute. Uh, my therapy's tomorrow. No one's on my side. Why? Okay. No, Nader and I are not in Look a relationship like as a couple. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. What? How do you not know how stupid you look? How? <laughs> your freaking shirt is up to your lip. If I were Chantel, I honestly wouldn't be able to look at my mother in the face. Exactly. Oh, if I was Chantel, my mom would have done kicked in my door and stole my internet equipment and vice versa. Look, I, I do not make no bones about it. If this was what people said, people have said, like, they don't really say it anymore, but back when I first started doing reactions of Chantel, they'd be like, what if it was your daughter online who had an eating disorder and she, you know, was doing videos and how would you feel if people were reacting to her videos? I'd probably react to her too. Yeah, I would. Actually, I'd kick in her door and take her out her and told her, bitch, I wish you would embarrass me like that on the internet. I don't care if you're my kid or not. It's, it's shameful. Put a stop to it. Yeah, if she has, if, if my kid was on there acting like a fool and there were people making fun of him, well, what am I, well, then stop making, stop giving him a reason. 
You know, just don't do it like Nick Akato and that gained weight on purpose and makes an ass out of himself. Okay, let's say that was my son. Do you think I'm going to defend that and look like an idiot? Please. I wish I would. Mm -mm. Well, at all. So I'm going to leave it at that. Like, whenever you're upset about something at the time, you you feel a certain way and you're like, yeah, okay. And then, I don't know, like, it starts to, the anger wears off. And then I start, like, just panicking and missing him. And I don't like eating by myself anymore. Food doesn't taste this. Oh, if my kid, I mean, even if my kid was 40, I wouldn't allow this behavior. Are you kidding me? No. I always tell my kids, I remind my boys now, remember, when you get older, you're going to be cutting my grass. You're going to be helping me with my yard work. We take care of our kids and we get older, we expect them to help us out. At least that's what I say, you know? Vice versa, you know, I'm sure I'll help them out with certain little things. But I'm not going to be going and cleaning my grown-ass daughter that doesn't have a job, who lays around in bed all day, cleaning her bedroom, get me all kinds of messed up. Seeing all that good, pathetic stuff. Enabling this woman. Oh. Hi. Can Why I she's have like a that? venti ice sugar cookie oat latte thing? Can I get extra ice <sighs> in it, please? And extra sprinkles? Look at her, look at her little face. Sprinkles. Oh, that's okay then. Oh, actually, that's what we do. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> hey, JD. We need to get home. Oh no, we gotta go get some pre-rolls up the street. <laughs> Why do I have Yes, please, 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 Chantel. That's all you need to go with your lifestyle is a little bit of weed. Homeless money. Yeah. Poor cats. What? They're gonna go get friggin' loved up and down and all around town. Don't you worry about them. They're not even alone for like fucking 12 hours. Leave me alone. My head is itchy with this hat. Look at my hair. Jersey girl, I've been thinking about going back to some of the uh, older videos when she first got with Nodder because, to be quite honest, I cut out. When she started doing the drugs and shit, I was just like, fuck this and cut out for a few months. And when I mean I cut out, I didn't even watch her on my own. So I'd like to go back and, and watch some of those just out of curiosity of how she acted then versus how she acted now. Who orders sprinkles, extra sprinkles at that. I mean, we're, uh, it's not that we're trying to act skinny like, oh my God, who gets sprinkles? But what do you get out of sprinkles? You can't even taste it. Her family has coddled her. They sure ain't helped the situation. And that's why she's out of control like this on the streets of Canada. <laughs> oh my god. Get that back on. Blocking spree incoming. I'm not blocking you, you wish. You can be as mean as you want, I don't care. Actually, I expect backlash every time I do this, so I don't know. And Caitlin, they like it? No, obviously look, not. not taste. I prefer you guys to be happy. I feel like we're in a toxic relationship. Let's break up. I treat loyal members badly? Why? What are you talking about, Trixie? Did I do something mean? I don't think I did anything to you. Did I do something to somebody personally? I'm just wondering. Okay, let's go get some stuff and then we're gonna go home and see. We, we've seen some of it the other day. We watched it the other day. We did a, a, a stream snipe or whatever. But she went on for five hours. So we haven't got to the part to where we cut out because we didn't watch all of it, obviously. But yeah, we did. If you were here um, the last time I went live, we have seen some of this. A channel name Thoughts has a playlist Chantel and Nod on her channel with all the videos where she talks about him from day one. Ooh, Indy, I'm going to have to check it out. Mm. So I don't have therapy today. It's tomorrow. Sure do. Actually, when I see my family or my mom or if I go down or like go to see them, I'm not going to tell people because they harass like, they've harassed my family members. Like, some people harass my family members. I think, like, they prefer if I don't mention, like, with <laughs> Thanksgiving, where I was going, I don't mention, or I'm very vague. Or with my mom's birthday, or whatever. I don't want to talk about it. Like, I don't want to talk about, like, what I'm doing, because, like, I can't even do that, really. <laughs> because people will find out. Like, if, if if I'm in a location and you find out where I am, it's because I don't care. And I'm not being paranoid. This actually happens. And, like, people dox locations and put it on Kiwi Farms or whatever. So, so I have to, like, this. The last time she was at her mom's, she filmed there. Person who, remember I told you they were writing an article about, like, 
online bullying and harassment and like kiwi farm they like came up See, yeah we were a little bit past this but i'm gonna go ahead and let it play kiwi farms so they're doing um an article on it it's like a a well-known american news outlet thing according to pete's anyway i never heard of it according to pete's because pete's knows all about it love you yeah but in the shit show 2 a.m in australia enjoy all our fatties in the chat this morning helena thank you so much for the super chat Sorry, it's so late over there <laughs> in Australia, and I'm glad you're sticking around with us. Now, remember, people, we said this the other day when we played this, okay? We got through some of the stream, okay? So this is a repeat. But just remember we said the other day. She's talking about this journalist who's going to come do the uh, interview on her on online bullying. Well, I <laughs> hope that journalist is going to uh, also do an article on YouTube live streamers who get under the influence of drugs, alcohol, and get behind the wheel of the car. Uh, online YouTubers who live stream driving and reading chat. Okay? I wish that person would actually drop an article and not include that shit in there. I heard of it, but... That is why I don't think that... I think that it's fake. Because there's no way that anybody could interview Chantel and not do their research... Or even just watch a few videos. Like, it's out there that Chantel is a problematic YouTuber. Like, you would have to be completely just an, a moron to post an article defending Chantel and not do your homework and see why she gets so much online hate. Uh, bye, Jamie with the Y. <laughs> have a good day. Anyway, he knows this, like, journalist person, so I'm just like, wow, that's cool. He wants to, like, ask me more questions and have, like, a photographer come and take, like, my picture and stuff. You're not a victim, Chantel. You're not. Stop acting like you're just some random person on the internet and you get bullied because you're fucking fat. Stop it. For this article, so I'm just like... Most hated internet vlogger. Most... Irrelevant internet hated vlogger. They basically just ask you like how you deal with it. What w would you like to see Kiwi Farms taken down? And you know what? I used to think yeah, but now I just think. What kind of question is that? What kind of question is that? I, I just don't believe her. She's full of shit. <laughs> one thing. One thing. Or two things. One. It doesn't matter. Like Kiwi Farms could get shut down and something else will come up. Like. It, it doesn't hey, matter. There's always going to be a website like Kiwi Farm. There's always going to be forums, people discussing other people. Do I agree with the extent sometimes? Like, no, but whatever. I went on there to look for exactly. crap. Exactly. Nobody cares that she's fat. I mean, at this point, whatever people say about me, it's just, it's second Honestly, nature. Like, I, I barely... Her being fat is what keeps this from people just being flat out hateful. I'm being honest. Being fat is funny. You're, rarely do you see a fat, I mean, I'm fat, and I think fat people are funny. You ain't even got to do nothing. You ain't even got to say something funny. I'm just going to look at you and laugh, right? I'm not being mean. It's just what it is. I mean, me and Sam laugh at each other all the time. If Chantel was skinny, she probably would just get nothing but hate. There'd be no Jean does sharp farts or people, you know, making light of the situation. But her being fat, I feel like kind of protects her for people legit going in hardcore because they find the humor out of it because she is fat and just watching her do certain things make you laugh. If she was not fat, it would be a whole lot worse for Chantel. So count your lucky star, Chantel's, that you are fat. It really registers in my brain anymore. I mean, let's take a look at Puppy Mill. I mean, people want her dead over there. Nobody cares about her. And you know when that happened? When she lost weight. When she became a skinny mini. Not even funny anymore because she's not fat. I'm so desensitized to the same things people say about me. It's not shocking anymore, basically, is what I'm saying. There's always people at the liquor store. Yes, More Michelle. so than at the weed store. <sighs> Exactly, Nicole. No, he's going to get his computer. I don't think he's going to get... He didn't get his computer yet. He wants to. But yes, he's getting every penny towards his computer. Like, all his super chats? Yes. They're exactly, his, Alex. That he got on my channel. So, stop being mad at me. Okay, let's go get some stuff. Nobody said they need groceries. What happened is... 
I wanted Adonis. So <laughs> I don't, I mean I get people being upset. Like I'm not gonna like I'm not dumb. You have to realize that anything I do in my no, life being is, fat does not make you unlikable. Okay? Being skinny and a bitch is what makes you unlikable. <laughs> no, like there's people who actually think I'm doing anything everything on purpose to scam people. YouTuber he can't film and edit for himself. Well, he wants to learn, but I'm too lazy to teach. I hate teaching people. Well, I'm sorry, Samoans. I didn't try to upset people. Like, I don't try to hurt people. At this point, it's hard to understand. I know. I don't even understand fully myself. That's why I have a therapist. I don't lie to you, Darby. I swear. I mean, do you think, do you mean like, I guess I, we have different definitions of a lie? No, for real. Like, I don't feel like me the other night when I was a setting like it's over and actually it is i'm not in a relationship with, like i'm not in a committed relationship with him <laughs> just go in the store and leave us in peace i <laughs> craves adonis well don't you crave a little kroger's from time to time some aldi's i'm really craving some aldi's right now guys i think when i get out i'm gonna have me some aldi's okay <laughs> listen i don't I, I i remember the other day we were like dude we don't know a lot of people are saying it's scripted like how can they you know blah blah blah. i don't know if it's scripted i don't i just think that chantelle is just so stupid we dude she's stupid she's like the stupids the little kids book the stupids is chantelle and it's pete's and it's not her okay it's the canadian little circle over there the stupids i don't think it's scripted i just think that chantelle is so delusional she lives in a fantasy world. She's found a man who is incapable of making a living for himself that was very poor, who she could buy, who she could buy, you know, like, come on, dude. Who, who what kind of man out there is going to let you come in and buy him clothes and buy him groceries at that, right? She, she found this guy, Clover, <laughs> welcome to the official support group. Thank you so much for joining she found this guy who was willing to let her do all these things for her, but he's not willing to say that, you know, they're in a relationship. She finally broke him to the point, and I don't know what the terms were of that relationship. And when they went to Toronto, took him on a trip, put him in a nice hotel room, and they come back as an actual couple, which lasted less than a week because he doesn't want to be with her but Chantel is dead set, is dead set on this man being her man, right? No matter what the consequences are, no matter how much money it costs her, no matter if he's got to go out and have other girlfriends or whatever, she is always going to consider him her boyfriend. She even went as far as buying her own engagement ring and lied to the people. Somebody pulled that clip. It was on Twitter the other day. Where she was talking about, she no, I didn't buy an engagement ring. I swear, I swear. But I think he, I don't know. I think he might. I think he's got something planned. Literally, she knew at that time when those words came out of her mouth that she had already bought a ring for herself. No one wants to look at you making that face. Just go into the store and leave us in peace. EG's good. I'm surprised she's let him stick around. I don't think this is scripted, people, is my point. I just think that Chantel is just so stupid and so and I don't mean like stupid as in I mean stupid as in the stupids like the book stupids if you don't know read them okay it's not scripted she's just that pathetic and Nodder's willing to deal with it because he gets freaking his refrigerator full of food he's making money not only is she giving him money she set him up on YouTube and he gets paid for the videos that she uploads for him. It's a win-win for this dude. I don't, I mean, I don't want to think about what they do in private, whatever. Not important. I'm just going to go, I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to start my live streams and not be in them. How about that? It's convenient to change your mind. You guys know I change my mind over and over. And it's not just that. It's just like. She has never changed her mind since she's been with Nodder. A hundred percent. She has never not wanted to be in a relationship with this man never so none of that's true when she says that to you all it's 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 the people her members and stuff who believe it are just they're just stupid like her deep down she is not she has been the same since she since she has came online with this bullshit 
How many times do people break up with people and then get back together? It happens. It's not semantic. It's semantic because it's not, it's not just black and white like that, L. It's not. I didn't watch his whole life, Carolina, actually. I'm not manipulating. Oh, manipulating who? Him? You mean I ma manipulated to him? I didn't watch his whole stream. Look at that mask! He's also just really mad that I talked about him. Like, really mad. So he wanted to go on live and- Yeah, exactly. He's came a long way from prison. Talk about me. Imagine if, like, every single person in my life made a channel. <laughs> Matter the paid actor under the contract of Foodie Beauty Productions. I'm, I know our whole relationship is fucked up. I never meant to come on here and just, like, play with your guys' feelings. Actually, that really bothers me. That's something I didn't realize, how it affects you guys. So I am sorry about that. I don't, I don't want it to affect you on a personal level, like, at all. Like, anything that happens to me, I don't want it to affect you. I don't know. I don't know if I, like, how to feel. Like, if, like, he gets really, really, really mad if I talk about him online. If I come online, I say things, like, really personal things. He sees, like, these are things that, personal that happened in a relationship that I shouldn't be talking about publicly. It's exhausting, though. I can't, I can't keep fighting. I better go in and get some stuff and go home. I need to go to the bathroom. Of course you do. Chantel's always, actually, have you ever noticed that Chantel's always got a shit? She just got a shit 24-7. Every time she turns on her camera, she's got a shit. Well, I've got to go to the bathroom, guys. I've got to go to the bathroom, guys. I've got to go to the bathroom, guys. Like, she's just constantly... She's just a shitting machine. It's weird. I do care about how you guys feel. He wanted me to go live at his house and not, like, go live at his house. And I said, no, like, I'm going to go home and be with you guys. Because I do respect that you guys want to be just with me. I really have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, okay? I submitted. Is there like a power play thing going on? I'm not aware of this. <laughs> like, I don't know. I bought Pedro's Sweet Sativa pre-roll. And color cannabis. No. Tropical Imagine fruit. Imagine what it looked like. <laughs> to the people working in that store to see Chantel walk, waddle in there. Excuse me, I don't know what I was thinking. Waddle into their their store. Could you imagine? Boot and pink grape sparkler cannabis beverages. So this is like sparkling waters infused with wow. cannabis. Just what and you need, Chantel. Pedro Sweet Sativa. I'm sorry, I'm all for the legalization of marijuana and people smoking and getting high, but if you are living a life to where you can barely pull yourself out of bed and do normal activities such as, and not because of like pain or like severe depression, just because you're a lazy fuck, okay? If you can't even change, and you know this is another thing I was thinking yesterday, now that we've got three cats, it's a whole ordeal. It is a whole ordeal. Like, our litter, litter situation has went to a whole another level. And I was like, man, it's it's really, it's just a lot of work, right? I think Chantel has Pete's and Nodder listed as employees for her. If she does, she can claim them on her tax write-offs. Purple Glitter, thank you for the super chat. And I don't think that's the, um, I don't think that's the case. She's just that stupid. But listen. <laughs> how much work it is to change the litter box like you know it's like it's it's not like an ordeal you know but to think about somebody like Chantel and she won't even wipe her own ass imagine like she I think she gets this kitty litter that you can flush down the toilet number one people don't believe what these companies say there is no freaking cat litter in the world that you should be fly, flushing down your toilet your pipes and everything are very sensitive. I hate the way she denies that marijuana is a drug. She's so impaired beyond the will. Exactly, DC. There's no... You shouldn't be flushing anything down your toilet except freaking toilet paper, right? And the fact that this woman has two cats, two big cats that she feeds constantly. I was... Sam was in here the other day and like my cats are like... They just have their own personalities. When they want me to love on them, they'll let me pet them. But they're not under me. Like, I was like, how come Sam and BBJ are constantly enchanted? How come she's got cats that want love and my cats don't want nothing to do with me? Like, what's wrong with me? She was like, no, it's not you. She said, because she sits there with cat treats all day, feeding them. I'm like, you're right. So the point is, is that she's constantly feeding these cats. So she's feeding them, feeding them 
all day long while she's up and home, that means those cats are shitting even more than what they normally would. Okay? So, the point being, she's got these two cats who are overweight, obviously, who she feeds all the time, shitting in these litter boxes. Chantel will barely even wipe her own ass. You're telling me that she's changing? Could you imagine the smell alone from the... We go a day with that cleaning out those litter boxes, the whole problem. Imagine what her house smells like alone, just from the litter box. But my point being... If you are that type of person where you have absolutely no motivation and you are so freaking lazy, don't smoke the weed. None of it. Okay? It's just ridiculous. The last thing in the world Chantel needs to be doing is sitting down smoking some weed. She doesn't even smoke when she smokes. No, but she does those edibles, which literally just put her in a state of I don't, it gives me anxiety how fucking out of it she is with the edibles and shit. She gives people out there who do do that shit, just like she gives fat people, a bad name. The police visited her again. She has two huge air purifiers. Ugh. Which I cannot smoke right now. Who would, who would even make a cat litter and advertise it as to flush down the freaking toilet? Are you kidding me? And you know what? It's a good thing that she... I mean, it's not a good thing for her apartment complex because that's going to cause a whole problem. But could you imagine how if that was, like, literally, she wasn't doing that, imagine how bad it would be? Could you imagine putting cat litter in a garbage bag and Pete's taking it to the dumpster? Because it's heavy. She would never. He would never. They would never. I can't even imagine what that litter box is like. I can't. Obviously. Because I'm in a moving vehicle. So let's go home. She, it's escape, escapism. She cannot stay in her life, so she does it because she needs to leave it behind with drugs. But Tara, there's nothing wrong with her life. That's what's so, this is what makes Chantel such a person that you just can't stand. I'm going to tell you why. Hold on a second. Mary <laughs> Cab, they're always bothering her because she feeds them at random times of the day. They never know when to expect to eat. Mary Cab, exactly. And she's always giving them treats after they eat. She wants to escape her life. For what? I just want a piece. If she can. wanted to have a good life, she could have it. <laughs> she literally could be living her best life. I know y'all are, all y'all are doing is looking at Chantel and thinking how. But she absolutely could. Pro tip, go to any hardware store and get some wood pellets. Absorb the smell and you don't have to worry about dust from the regular litter. Oh, okay, Justin Ward. Thank you for the super chat. But the point being is like, she's not like some people have pain around the clock. They've got some kind of pain that's bothering them. They've got some <laughs> kind of disability. They've got to work shit jobs that they hate going to factories, like some real labor intense work that they have to do. You know what I mean? Hey, a petty fetty. What up, mama? I got a new job and out of the loop. Good to see you. Good luck with the new job. Thank you for coming by. It's a whole lot. So thing always with Chantel, the still is the best. But the point is, is like, why is she trying to ex escape her life when she could legit, if she would just quit being such an idiot, be living her best life? It makes no sense. Like, she wants to live in this miserable existence, and she doesn't have to. What is she escaping from? You can't escape yourself. Exactly. Yes, congrats to Petty Fetty. Look out, there's a frog watching you. Knock it off. Someone in the Discord and on their phone, please screenshots of the face. <laughs> Go for poo. It was 45 bucks for everything. Okay, can't and, look and, at the and That's another thing. The amount of money that you're spending on that shit for what? Have four cats and pit bull. I get that litter situation. Three litter boxes. They have to be cleaned daily. Exactly, bit not broken. And we know that Chantel's not doing that. I get the big tubs of litter and keep the empties to use dispose of dirty litter because it's easier to carry that way. Teet Yeet, thank you for the super chat. I think we're right now, we're experimenting with different things as far as the litter situation goes. That's why she's running off to live in the woods. Some people just want to be miserable, man. And those are the kind of people that you want to stay. And that's exactly why people stay away from Chantel. Because she's one of those people, no matter what, 
She could win the lottery, bitch. She could be a millionaire and still be miserable. I can't stand. And, you know, we all, look, we all get a little bit miserable. But when somebody is miserable 24-7, can't stand those types of people. I work in wastewater. Do not flush cat litter or wipes or grease. Fit and curvy. Thank you so much for super chat. It's a thing. I'm a real man. Let me tell y'all, when I... Uh, when me and the kid's dad were in a relationship, let me tell y'all a story. Um, we had the boys, uh, cleaning their bathroom and they cleaned it with some Clorox wipes. Well, a few days later, we were flushing the toilet and noticing water coming in under the toilet. And I'm like, oh my God, like something's definitely wrong, obviously, right? And so, um, he thought it was the toilet seal. I was like, no, I don't think it's a toilet seal. I was Googling it and everything. I knew it was the whole thing. Well, he had to go get one of those, um, I don't, it's like, like a line that you stick down your main line. Like most people would have called a plumber, but thank God he knew how to take care of it. He rented one of those machines and stuck it like down our main water line where it can go in there and try to fish out anything. If it's stuck in there, it was Clorox wipes pulled out a big wad of Clorox wipes so when my boys were cleaning off the counters in their bathroom, instead of throwing them in the trash, an auger, yeah. Is it an auger? A sn it's like a snake, but it was like, it's like uh, an industrial one. Like he had to rent it. It was a whole thing, okay? Anyways, um, yeah, he fished out Clorox wipes. Instead of my boys throwing them in the trash, which we have strict rules like nothing in the toilet but toilet paper. They those little assholes took and flushed some Clorox wipes, and man, it was a whole thing. But yeah, no, there's no such thing as flushable wipes or tampons. Sorry, I'm yelling. <laughs> Thank you, Fit and Curvy. It's true. Don't be putting nothing down your toilet unless it's toilet paper, people. Mhm. Mm those Clorox wipes, and then all of a sudden, before you know it, you've got yourself a hell of a mess. Or pads. Could you imagine somebody flushing a pad? Holy hell, it's an auger? I thought an auger was something like you put in the dirt and put a... Anyways, that's what I'm saying. It's a whole thing. But and the fact that these two... And that's probably why her bathtub is uh, uh, stopped up like it is. <laughs> Please make shirts to say it was a whole thing. <laughs> Uh, well, JD Forever, I'm not going to lie. I do too. Okay. That's the only thing. Other than toilet paper, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's not an auger, a toilet auger. Mm -hmm. Don't flush diapers either. Who would flush a diaper? Wow. I'm not surprised, surprised that people flush diapers because people don't want them in their house and they don't want to take them out to the dumpster. Not shocked at all. Uh, I've seen. Was I ever told the, no? The way the the conversations that we have just from the shit that Chantel talks about, it's 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 really great. It really is. I was a child. Not often. If I was, I would Oh, what was that, Chantel? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was too busy running my mouth, but I do want to take it back just a little bit to hear what you just said. Listen, going back <clears throat> going back to the uh <clears throat> Funkle thing this morning. Continue please. Go for poo. It was forty five bucks for everything. Okay, I can't look at the chat. I seen was I ever told no as a child? Not often. If I was, I would scream and protest. I was a spoiled brat. I, I don't know, like, if that comes off or something, but yeah, I was a spoiled brat. Uh, yeah, just a little. Just, just a smidge, okay? Just a smidge. <laughs> I just want quiet. I just feel like I constantly have mouths like talking in my ear. I have my own voices. I have your voices. And I actually do listen to what you say. Probably too much. I'm not saying a lot of you have very valid... Whatever you say is valid, okay? I'm not like trying to invalidate what you're saying. What are you saying, JD? You flush leftovers that you don't eat? Really? No. Hey, you have a side chick. Hello, hello. Really? Flush, flush food? Why don't you just get a garbage disposal? I don't know. Anyways. What you say, and a lot of you are right, and I know that, but it doesn't make it any easier for me to deal with this situation. And then I have his voices, and then I have... Everything is just, like, overwhelming me. That's why, like, honestly, like, 
my therapy feels like an oasis. But why do I need to live a life where I feel like I need to have an oasis? I guess Making life trash is just people. stressful. That's general, trash people right? do that shit. So to have that time, maybe tomorrow before my therapy, go on the long road and do my therapy there. <laughs> I didn't sleep well. I didn't sleep very long. I know you guys probably don't really like me right now, but I thought we could be. I'm tired. I'm kind of tired now. I don't know. I have like, a kid's I get, like, I've been getting restless leg syndrome, and I don't know from what. We do do I that. I put on my mat, CPAP, and then like on the recliner, trying to go to bed. <laughs> Sam. She went and got her phone just for that syndrome. too. I know she did. I would take the pain of stubbing my toe a thousand times. Not I had a job. I hate the feeling of taxes. Legs. We are not the same like a, lazy ass. Hey, like Mary. Have to move. Oh, I hate it. Usually, I get. I would get it like it, taking gravel. Regular gravel gives me really bad restless legs. I feel like just taking off and just being completely free from every single thing in my life. I really don't really have anything. I really don't have like a family, I don't have kids, I don't have a house. I could really just like take my next paycheck and just fuck off and be like, oh, bye, I'm going to Man, <laughs> ba boom <laughs> The way she hits those freaking speed bumps, man. We don't eat greasy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so funny. I, I was going to say something and I got off track reading the chat. YouTube and I'm doing vlogs. And we're going to try more. Mm -hmm. Like I'm at the point I just feel like doing that. Like honestly. I have my I have a valid passport. I have You never will. That's the thing. She really could just go and do whatever she wants. But she won't. This is as good as it's gonna get for Chantel. The fact that she even got a man, I don't even care to talk about what kind of man because you already know, is really shocking. It was never meant to happen. It wasn't in the cards for Chantel. She really did get don't flush your drugs, people, just give them to me. She got lucky, and it takes a lot for me to say that. Ugh. I have a valid passport, a YouTube check, and a camera. I don't need anything else. Except I don't have my cats. And I know you guys think I neglect them and I don't think about them. I do miss them a lot when I'm not with them, actually. Does she even right. slow down? You're right. Does she even slow down? Hey, Gecko. The amount of needles that we see, I'm not surprised by that. Oh, your job sounds interesting. I'm sorry, but it does. I want to go back. This might seem a little petty. I want to see if she even slows down going over these speed bumps. Anything. I really don't have like a family. I don't have kids. I don't have a house. I could really just like take my next paycheck and just fuck off and be like, I'm she bye. Don't. I'm going to do YouTube and I'm doing. I mean, she's not going very fast, to be fair. But she doesn't even try to slow down, man. It hits her car hard man vlogs and we're gonna travel around <laughs> that was a kid just keep it going Chantel. like i'm at the point i just feel like doing that like honestly i have my i have a valid passport i have a valid passport a youtube check and a camera i don't need anything else except i don't have my cats and i know you guys think i neglect them and i don't think about them i do miss them a lot when i'm not with them actually it's uh, fun i need to go to the bathroom Happy Friday. You keep me laughing during my early morning work huddle. Oh, thank you, Tamara. We appreciate the super chat. You know the drill. I need a candy shops. dish in my living room. I think it'll really pull the place together. Did oh, you just I say left candy my phone dish? charger there. Why am I an asshole? Hold on. Guys, we have something to show you. We got in the mail. With sympathy. Oh. That's her paw print. Yeah, the card reads, uh, We would like to extend our deepest sympathy for the loss of your beloved pet. We hope you take comfort in remembering all the wonderful times you shared together. Our thoughts are with you during this difficult time. And then, uh, written on the card, uh, James and Chantel, I'm so sorry for the loss of your beloved cat, Timbit. I'm sure you have many memories of her to cherish always. Thinking of you during this difficult time, Dr. Beth. So they took a paw of a, her paw print. That's her, her, her paw. It's a little messed up, but that's nice. You can keep that in your room, please. Yep. Okay? Yep. All right, let's try this. Would you like to try a cannabis drink? Uh, no thanks. So we suggested get a new cat and call it Double Double. Okay, thank oh, you. I like that. That's, oh my god. That's, that's cute. That's a cute nickname. Yeah. All right, let's try this tropical fruit cannabis beverage. This has 10 milligrams of THC, so not high dose. And we have color cannabis Pedro's Sweet Sativa. Oh no. She's going to throw up. Oh, yep. Right onto. Uh... No! And now she's eating it. Hold up. Come here. 
Casey's. Oh, uh, the poor cat's getting sick. The cat's puking, and then she's going to eat it. I'm pretty sure Chantel wasn't going to get up till uh, Pete started saying she's going to eat it, too. Stop eating your own puke. Come here, baby girl. Sometimes she eats... Wow! She's on the counter. I thought Chantel was going to walk around the counter. But the freaking cat was on the counter puking. Un freaking believable, dude. That is so gross. <sighs> Too fast? That happens. Conveniently right onto a... Uh... Any cleaner coming out, remember that the next time there's food on the counter. E.G. A uh, Capital One credit card thing, though. Stop eating your own puke. There's fresh food right here. Why does she do that? Why do cats do that? She's just stupid. Come on, baby girl. She ate too fast. Yeah. She just caught, he just called the cat stupid. If the cat's eating fast, it's because it's hungry and Pete's probably didn't feed her. And that, that's, this isn't an age thing. This is just her being a freaking idiot. Thing. No, sometimes cats eat too quick and then. Yeah, this is just her being a freaking idiot. <sighs> Wow, that, I mean, that's not even funny. Like, if you want to act like you don't like the cat and think that that's funny and shit, Pete's okay. Why are you calling the cat stupid because it's getting sick? Hey, Unicorn Blush. Better than on the carpet. I mean, easier to clean, but come on. That is so sad. Thank you. He fed them, uh, like they were due for food when I came in, but probably, but he did feed them not that, that long ago. I fed them at some point during the night. I have no idea when. And they always have crunchies. She just eats. Radiology tech. Now a college professor. I tried to squeeze it. YouTube I just want videos, to be so I'm blessed again. in my life. And it's sad because he does bees. not want to relate. So sad. A petty fetty, you do have a lot going on. And congratulations about your new job and career. I know you used to do videos too. Thank you for she gets excited, chat. I guess, when I get home. I don't know. The cats not feel like if their owner doesn't feed them. You want to go see the doctors? You have puke on your face. <laughs> and I just kissed her mouth. She could use a quick trip to the, uh... A new checkup? To the vet, yeah. All right, all right. We'll give you a Sand No disinfectant cleaner or washing your hands. Oh, is she finally going to take the cats to the vet? Cats can get food poisoning. Ugh. That's a good point. <laughs> I can't clean up. And none of it touched me. Bye. If she's so old, she I do take. I took her like last year. I don't think you're supposed to take them more than once a year, right? Oh uh, yeah. Totally. Is it Christian? <laughs> Those facts. I mean, I'm not surprised. I think cats should eat at the same times every day. We have our cats on a schedule. Uh, our cats eat first thing in the morning. When my I wake my son up at around six fifteen or six twenty, and he's the one that feeds the cats. He feeds them Monday through Friday. Before he goes to school, as soon as he gets out of bed, that's the first thing he does. And then on the weekends, um, when they're with their dad, whenever I get up, we feed them. And since we have Paul, since Paul's a kitten, he's a really hungry kitty. So he gets to eat, you know, he gets another can of uh, food because he doesn't eat dry food. He has to have canned food. He gets another can around uh, six or seven. And then the cats get dry food. Yeah. So they are on a schedule. Like every six months is uh, probably no name chips. It's probably like, every six months is probably the ideal. Six months? Like I said, that's probably I would guess that that is probably the ideal. No. I would also guess that very few people actually do it every six months, and it's expensive. Oh, this is sugar. Once a year, I agree. Taking them a few times. We've taken them a few times since being here. Yep. I don't know if I can remember the last time we did it, but it was uh, I know it was during COVID. I know we've taken them during COVID. I just don't remember exactly. When. She's ninety-five, and that's not going to change. What I'm going to take her to the vet, and they're going to say she's old. Good. She's old. Thank you for the donation, LL. Why would you take your cat to the vet? And why would they tell you that the cat is old? Yes, Paul still tries to suckle the little shit. And, uh, Table, I need to clean the, the countertop, yeah. And to be fair, it's not like we eat off the countertop much. Cats over 10 years should be seen she twice She eats on the countertop every time she eats food. What are you talking about, Pete? The difference is, Unicorn, for most people who can't take their pets to the vet every six months, exactly. Because they can't afford it. They can't afford it. They honestly cannot fit it in their schedule because they work 40 plus hours a week. Chantel is home 24 7 and she makes plenty of money. Really? Makes sense. Like I said, I doubt many people actually take their cats to the vet twice a year. A geriatric panel? You're not worth it. I'm kidding, BBJ. Fine, we'll get you a geriatric panel. Yes, I do care. I'm not sick of BBJ. Look at this thing. I am. Look at this angel. Once a year, unless sick. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'll be taking them twice. Sorry, let's just be real. Unless they're really sick. I didn't even take my grandma to the doctor twice a year when she was geriatric. Wow. Oh, the Travis Scott. <laughs> Fuck, I'm dead. AG, that was a fucking killer comment. Yeah, that worked out great. Where's grandma now, Chantel? 
What's the who the fuck is Travis Scott and who cares? Uh he's uh some some singer. Sometimes they just need to keep their mouth shut about things, and this is one of them. Yeah, and uh, he had a show that went. Why are they having really shows after COVID like, like that? Like they're like people died at the show. There, what was it? Like nine people died. Why? Like what? What's the reason? Did someone shoot the concert? Like what? No, it's just like I guess people like, being dumb. Yeah. Basically. Look! Look at these two stupids. Look at listen to them. Listen to how absolutely stupid they are. The people being dumb. Like I guess there's just like stampeding and crushing and just. Bad Stampeding shit. for what? Like, who is this guy that he's worth a stampede? Like, is he that popular? I've never heard of him. Kylie Jenner's husband. Kylie Jenner's husband. Is that popular? People are dumb. A nine-year-old dying? Oh, fuck. That's horrible. Don't bring your kids to a concert. I don't think people will after that. <laughs> Jesus, Chantel. Just knock it off, man. Yeah, blame the parent for taking a child to a concert. I mean, it's not bad enough that their son passed away, but you gotta get, sit there and say, don't bring your kids to a concert. Do you think that's something that, that parent, those parents need to hear? I mean, come on. Nobody expected to go to that concert and end up not coming home. <laughs> I want to see people crushed at that foot in Nashi. Kylie's baby daddy? I mean, obviously it's not Travis Scott. Well, I mean, I don't know the whole detail. I have to look into it. I don't think I will, actually. But When did that happen? Yeah, please don't. I alert took down app box. Was it a big channel? And what were they doing? If you're just re-uploading our content, then yeah, it's not good to do. Because that's stealing people's videos. Like, if you're just re-uploading people's content, like you're- Why did y'all even have to go over there and even bring this shit up to her? Nobody wants her opinion on the stroppy, the copyright strikes Amber Lynn's putting out. Nobody. Taking the ability from them. Oh, it just re-uploaded her content and made more views than her? Well then yeah, that's fine. Come on guys, that's not right. You're basically stealing people's content. You're not doing anything. I don't know what to consider transformative. That's where I find a gray area, like is discussing the content, okay. But to me, you shouldn't be allowed to play the entire video. You pick topics you want to discuss or react to instead of playing, instead of making it your channel, like what's transformative? Like pick your pick, talk, talking topics or transform the video, but people- the, who do, I mean, who do these artists think that's living, listening to their music? They legit target kids. They do. They know it's kids that are listening to their music. They even put their music in like those games, like those Fortnite games and, and stuff like that. That's how my kids know most of the music that they listen to from the games that they play. It's in the background. It's played on there. And then when the kid wants to go to a concert, you're going to go shame the parent and say, well, why did you take your kid to a, a Travis Scott concert? Well, why are you advertising to my kid? Maybe me as the parent, I don't know a whole lot about the artist. I just know that my kid really enjoys their music. So I thought, hey, I'm going to, you know, take him to a concert, see what it's about. And all of a sudden, you know, that they're the, the bad guy because something happened. How about these artists, if their music is so bad and everything, stop targeting kids? How about that? People like Charlie, I don't find them transformative at all, actually. I, I, like, there's reaction channels you could tell they just don't like the person they're talking about. Like, they're just what, the, what do you mean she's not? Well, how do you how do you figure? Charlie's not a receipt channel. Okay, she's not. She's an actual reaction channel. So what do you mean? Because you don't like her? So you're gonna use Charlie. Okay. Bothered by the person, like people like Charlie, FFG, like she hates fucking Natter or whatever. It was a parents. festival, so absolutely. Lights, so they had those big, like it was all targeted towards kids. You're not gonna see no 30 year olds up in there. Maybe some early 20s, late teens. So. So, I mean, when I was nine years old, I liked Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. I'm sure if I could have talked my mom into it, she would have had me right there at a concert. Okay? Not knowing a clue of what the music was even about. You are the parent, but when you take your kid to a concert, do you expect something like that to happen? I don't know. I don't watch her bit Char Charlie's videos, so I, don't, I can't say. But when I did watch it, it was just like, there was no commentary. What are you talking about, Dandy? You have the brain of an amoeba. That's good commentary. How is it not transformative? They cut down the content and talk about it. So for people who cut down the content and talk about it, that's different. But if you're just re-uploading somebody's video, don't fucking cry that your channel gets taken down. If you're stealing people's content just to re-upload it, don't cry if your channel <laughs> gets taken down for copyright. That's what it's, <laughs> that's the whole point. Charlie plays like three minutes of here on television when they listen to it. And I know it's so obviously, obviously the ones who are like their followers that are here, like EG. Oh, look at my lip. What is that? You went to Up and Smoke? Oh I'm my like, god. Yeah. Missy, that was one of my favorite DVDs. I had that concert on DVD. I loved it. Watched it over and over and over and over. I'm jealous. I bet that was the best shit ever. You to like the tin maybe? And actually, I don't, Spice not into rules. <laughs> I was never into that shit. Pamela, thank you so much. You rock too. And thank you for being a member for two months. Unless it's at Disney. Yeah. Taking down people's channels, but... Looks like a cold sore in the making. I hope not. What? I'm not rolling my eyes at Pete. Fast sarcastic. But there are reaction Jay. channels that get a lot more views than me. 
and it's because people like drama, and I know that I'm not stupid, and I don't really care. No, I did. Oh yeah, I rolled my eyes, but not at Pete's. Not for what him was saying about the situation. That's a nice card. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, I heard it when I watched it the other day. When did he do it? Hold on, let me take it back. Sorry. I get into conversations with you guys and miss the good shit. Let me see. Take it down for copyright. That's what it's. That's the whole point. Charlie plays like three minutes of Pierce on television. I'm like, listen to it. And I know it's so obviously, obviously the ones who are like their followers that are here, like EG. Oh, look at my lip. What is that? <laughs> I swear. We just came out of nowhere, like an to like the tin maybe? And actually, I don't, not into taking down people's channels, but looks like a cold sore in the making. I hope not. What? I'm not rolling my eyes at Pete's. But there are reaction channels that get a lot more views. Damn it, I missed it again. I'm not taking it back, but she rolled her eyes because Pete said that he hates Nodder still. That might be why um, Chantel has been online. Maybe somebody sent um, this clip. Is this the one that she took down? This is the one that she took down. It's a bit more... I think we should take it back. This could be why she took the video down. Damn it. Okay. Talking about, like, they're just bothered by the person, like, people like Charlie, FFG, like, she hates fucking Nutter or whatever. That's apparent. So do I. Okay, here we go. So, this could be why Chantel has deleted the live stream and possibly why Chantel hasn't been live. Maybe. I don't know. It's just speculation. You got to come up with your own conclusion, okay? She's not going to get her and tell the truth. I just want to bees in my shop all day. I just want to bees. <laughs> you got your shop theme? What do you do out there? Listen. Uh, people like Charlie, I don't find them transformative at all, actually. I, I, like, there's reaction channels you could tell they just don't like the person they're talking about. Like, they're just bothered by the person. Like, people like Charlie, FFG, like, she hates fucking that or whatever. That's apparent. So do I. So. <sighs> <laughs> that was. You absolutely, 100%, were rolling your eyes over what Pete said. Chantel, why did you just literally, literally, it was on camera. We seen you and you legit just sat there and lied. Kids, no, I don't know about any kids taking drugs at concert. What is your theory about why Chantel is sleeping on her couch with CPAP? What do I think, PMA? I think her room is stink so bad that she can't breathe up there. That'd be my guess. Because, I mean, honestly, do you think that Nodder's telling her not to sleep upstairs? He doesn't care. He's just using that to so he doesn't have to be in a relationship with Chantel. I think that it's so stinky that she can't breathe. But I could be wrong. Anyways, listen to her, Law. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Instead of playing, instead of making it your channel, like, what's transformative? Like, pick your big talk, talking topics or transform the video. But people like Charlie, I don't find them transformative at all, actually. I, I, like, there's reaction channels you could tell they just don't like the person they're talking about. Like, they're just bothered by the person. Like, people like Charlie, FFG, like, she hates fucking that or whatever. That's apparent. So do I. So. So. <laughs> you know you're in trouble, don't you, bitch? <laughs> you know. You know that one of your beezers then got that clip. And then send it to your uh, imaginary make-believe boyfriend. The man that you want to marry so bad that you are willing to go out and buy your own engagement ring and pretend like he bought it for you. You know it. You know you're in trouble, don't you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch her bit Char Charlie's videos, so I, don't, I can't say. But when I did watch it, it was just like, there was no commentary. What are you talking about, Dandy? You have the brain of an amoeba. That's good commentary. How is it not transformative? They cut down the content and talk about it. So for people who cut down the content and talk about it, that's different. But if you're just re-uploading somebody's video, don't fucking cry that your channel gets taken down. If you're stealing people's content just to re-upload it, don't cry if your channel gets taken down for copy. Well, to be fair, that's not Charlie or FFG. Both those bitches are running their mouth just like me. So what are you talking about, Chantel? Right, that's what it's that's the whole point. Charlie plays like three minutes of here on television. Like, listen to it. And I know it's so obviously, obviously, the ones who are like their followers that are here, like EG. Oh, look at my lip. What is that? <laughs> I swear, we just came out of nowhere, like an ashy to like the tin, maybe. And actually, I don't, not into taking down people's channels, but looks like a cold sore in the making. I hope not. What? I'm not rolling my eyes at Pete's, but there are reaction channels that get a lot more views than me. And it's because people like <laughs> that was so funny. She flat out rolled her eyes at Pete's. Thanks for following this mess with me. Tweet at me so I can follow you. Yes, you guys, drop your Twitters in the chat so you can go follow each other. Oh, and I know that I'm not stupid. The after hours. And go join the Discord, too. And I don't really care. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I rolled my eyes, but not at Pete's. Not for what him was saying about the situation. That's a nice card. Yeah. <laughs> I feel really bad. I feel bad about not being here when Timbit died. So we were, like, in the car, and I was like, I'm really sorry. Like, when we are going to dinner... I'm like, I'm really sorry if I wasn't there for you more. And he's like, ah, oh, honestly, I just wanted to be alone anyway. Like, he did sleep a lot. 
The cap you got cleaned up. Yeah, it was mostly on a thing. Did I have an edible today? Did I leave the honey part in to show how easily he gets upset? That's what he thought too. But I did it on purpose. And I didn't. I was actually really tired last night and I didn't feel like doing it. I took the time to do it. I even muted parts that needed to be muted. And you I know what, Chantel? Even though you left it in, nobody feels sorry for you. Nobody cares because you don't have to be there. You are literally choosing this lifestyle. You're choosing to go over there because you're so desperate for a man. You are absolutely pathetic. And you want people to feel sorry for you because what he yelled at you over a little honey in your drink? We don't care. I hope he yells at you again, dummy. It left in a part and that's it. That's all. Accidentally on purpose. I didn't. I didn't do it on purpose. That's the thing. Like, I didn't. I mean, it didn't look bad, right? We were just, it's just like people bantering at each other. That was not banter, dummy. When I'm on live talking to you guys, I let you guys get in my head. Whenever I'm with him in his bed, I let him get in my head. It's just like a constant. And then I have my thoughts and everyone else. He was just like, this part's going to be all over the internet. 10 minutes after I took the video down. I didn't do it on purpose. I swear I didn't do it on purpose. Even if you did, it was his behavior. If he doesn't like it, change it. Remember when you swore? I swore. I swear I didn't buy my own engagement ring. I swear, guys. I wouldn't do that. Why would you guys think that? No, but I think he's about to do it too. I think he's about to buy one himself. Okay. Uh, but so your swears mean absolutely nothing, Chantel. Say that when I was there, but that's how I felt. Like, I didn't want to say that when I was there. I don't want to make him like more angry, but I was just like, do you see how you, that's how you talk to me? Like, <laughs> I'm sad because I guess I do feel a bit underappreciated a little bit. That's all. I just want to keep the peace with everything. You know, I just feel like I'm always trying to keep the peace, actually. People who use you, people who are using you, people who only want you around because what you can do for them financially or whatever else that you're doing, when they're actually obviously just using you they're not gonna appreciate you Chantel he probably at this point I bet when you stocked his refrigerator full of food and you recorded his video and then you sat on your fat ass and edited it and spent all that time and you're not even working on your own channel I bet he didn't even say thank you I can almost bet my left arm okay I'd cut it off and hand it to you I bet he didn't even say thank you. I swear. I swear. I bet he didn't even say thank you. Talking about you don't feel appreciated, you idiot. Then I come on here and talk bad about him, so that makes him mad. I do agree. Private things in a relationship should, should be kept private. It also pisses me off. He's more worried about his reputation than like hurting me. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. It's done. It's over. And it's, how do you feel you need to? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. You should change the name of your channel from Foodie Beauty to Nader El Shami. Okay? Because that's all you talk about is him. You talk about how you're not going to talk about it, and that's literally all you talk about is not her. Help him because I care about his well being. Like, I, I want him to be happy. I don't like men anymore at all. I'm becoming a lesbian. It's already partly in me anyway. No, I'm you're not. Aspect. Absolutely. Just because you are having. Look, <laughs> gay. Being gay is not because you have a hard time uh, finding someone of the opposite sex. It's because you are attracted to the same sex, okay? I didn't go out and start dating Sam because I was having a hard time finding a guy, right? If you're saying that, that you're going to become gay because you just can't find a good man, but you're actually not even, and you know, here's the thing about it. Here's why I always said, and it offended some people that I wouldn't, I, I would not feel very comfortable dating somebody who's bisexual because I feel like a lot of times that's what you find yourself in. Oh, a woman, I'll just use women because I'm obviously not a man is because you'll you'll find these women out here who are just sick and tired of men and they're just tired of being used and abused and having their filling their man's refrigerator up and they're not even getting a thank you and they're like you know what i'm gonna date me a woman but deep down they don't like women they're not really attracted to women they just want somebody to give a fuck they just want somebody to love them and women are real good at loving a motherfucker right so even though they might not be that attracted I'm not saying this is in all cases, okay? I'm just saying. Let me finish my story. I f and But there are people that do that. And I ain't going to find myself with one of them women who just are tired of men. But then when a man finally comes along or they get they get tired of being with, you know, me because I'm a woman. They really want to be with the man. And we done invested all this time. They go back to men. Do you understand where I'm going with this? I think you do. So don't, just because you find yourself in a shitty relationship or with the, because there's plenty of good dudes out there. Plenty of them. Just like there's plenty of good women out there. But you're not going to attract somebody worth the fuck 
if you ain't worth the fuck, Chantel. You get what you give. And right now, Nodder is everything that you deserve. Pull away from fully becoming. I mean, five positive things he does for me. I can't. It makes me laugh. Obviously, we have good sex. Cooks for me. There's three. <laughs> Commenting has been, I know because I forgot that I was in there like editing and I saw they were live. Subconscious desire. You wanted people to see him treat like you're right. They're not really bisexual, they're just lying about it. And a lot of people do do that. A lot of women will do that. Get caught in that trap. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Pooping, now you're getting attention for it. Oh, I, I get, uh, yeah, I know what you mean by that, Becky. I won't go into that, but I get what you mean. But purposely, like, I didn't even know that part was still usually look at my I, body. My mistake, usually, look, I my, look at my body before I post it. That one I'm part that man. you left perfectly in that one part. Like, he was very upset that I left it in. I didn't do it on purpose. But, like, I didn't want to rewatch it. Like, I felt embarrassed about it. I really, really, really just want it to work. Because I've invested already so much time and emotion into this person. I feel like I'm forgiving until I don't love you anymore. I feel like this is why he doesn't want me to go live when I'm by myself because of what I say. Obviously, if I'm with him, I'm not going to say these things, right? I don't talk about this to, like, talk bad about him. I'm just, I'm just venting my feelings. I, I honestly, I don't do any of this for money. Like, I don't. Believe me, I wish my channel... <laughs> lies, lies, lies. How many lies have we heard within the last two minutes since I let her talk for a second? Good sex, my ass. Absolutely, Angel with tattoos. You're lying, Chantel. If somebody's referring to you having sex with that dead dog... I ain't even gonna touch it. I ain't touching it today. Not today, Jesus. Not today. So, on a more positive note, and just like... Okay, let's just get really baked and forget about love. I'm just gonna chain smoke. I wanna be a cam girl. Open the window? Yeah, I will. <laughs> There's no cats around me right now and it's freezing. Like this smoke instantly vanishes. There's no sm smell in my house. My house is never smoky. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. She, she lives in this magic bubble, guys, okay? You starfish, that's not a good sex lady. Um, she she lives in this magic uh, apartment that just, I'm so sick of this storyline. Uh, me too, DC, but I think we're here for the long haul, and it's just what it is at this point, because obviously he's not going to let go, and neither is she, and he's going to hold on because he benefits so much from this, right? Every time she talks about smoking in her apartment, whether it be weed or cigarettes or whatever, she talks about how her apartment doesn't smell like smoke. Okay, Chantel, how? Is there alcohol in this? There's wine in here. It's a Lynn wine thing. Smith, I agree. Her mother has a lot to answer for. I can't agree more, man. Sure, Jan, Nodder's teeth of mass destruction, but does see? <laughs> Look, there are <clears throat> situations where you can raise the kid right and them still turn out to be a motherfucker. Like, it's, it's, it happens. Like, you know, it does happen. But what we are looking at with Chantel is someone who's over entitled, someone who is spoiled, someone who has no idea. They're just not in touch with reality. Dead dog, dead, down dead dog <laughs> is much more advanced than starfish. Exactly. So sometimes, um, you know, parents that are good parents and, you know, good mom and dad, they do end up with, you know, possibly a shitty kid, but this ain't it. The point being, uh, Mama Sarah has a lot to answer for. She really freaking does. Like, where did you go wrong? Oh, I know. Never mind. The Funkel. But there's no alcohol. It's non-alcohol wine. <laughs> what the hell yeah, have I resorted to? React to my own video, starting with my birthday. That'd be too hard to watch. Warning, do not drive or operate heavy equipment after using cannabis. More than 4,000 Canadians were injured uh, and 75 died. Wow. That's what she thinks about that warning. I am freaking dead. Hey, black cats. I'm dead. She has the deck to sit outside while I smoke inside when it's legal. Listen to this. Listen. Mrs. Chantel, who likes to uh, get high and operate a vehicle... Probably drinks and drives. I've heard that a few times. Let's hear her. Um, let's hear her how she feels about reading the warning label. Okay, shall we? Sorry, Barbie. React to my own video starting with my birthday. That'd be too hard to watch. Warning, do not drive or operate heavy equipment after using cannabis. Check. 
more than 4,000 Canadians were injured. Uh, in <laughs> I'm fucking dead, dude. <laughs> Just dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. 75 dogs driving after using cannabis in 2012. In 2012? What happened in 2021? I don't drive. Wow. Wow, that is good shit there, isn't it? Uh, and that's why I tweet the OPP on you every time you drive high. Nader has no respect for me when he smokes beside me, but she lights up and gags Pete's and the cats. Grumble Bunny, exactly. Princess Cannibalist for the slow mode. Thank you so much for the super chat. Just for you, girl. <laughs> Hi, EG. Okay, you think so. I look always high. You constantly drive high. Chantel could be so ripped out of her mind from alcohol or weed if Nodder called her on the phone and said, "Hey, come over. I want to boink you." She'd get, she'd wobble her ass <laughs> so fast to her car and start it up and drive over there. She wouldn't think twice about it. Hi. What do you want me to say? So if I'm honest and open about how I feel, like just stream of conscious, like I was very hurt by how he talked to me. So I feel like I'm just kind of trying to play it off. Like yeah, nothing, shout it... out to EG. I guess that four ninety nine and it really ain't that bad, huh? It did hurt me, especially <laughs> after being tired and trying to do something nice for you. It can never work because even he said, like, for me, I think it's irrational for him to expect me to not talk to Pete's ever again. But he doesn't agree with that, so that's it. He doesn't care if you talk to Pete's. The only reason that he doesn't agree with it because he knows Pete's ain't going nowhere because he's a bum and has nowhere to go, right? She is not high. She does not inhale. Well, Linda, when she does the edibles, she does get, she gets lit, okay? But when she smokes, yeah, I agree, she doesn't inhale. Pete's, does, I mean, Nodder doesn't care if you talk, Nodder doesn't care if you sleep with Pete's. He does not care. He can just use that as a reason not to be in a relationship with you, Chantel, dummy. No, he talks, that's how he talks all the time. And it's not, see, that I'm not doing this just to talk bad about him. I'm just venting my feelings. That's it. I'm trying to just numb my feelings right now. Like, uh, you know what I need to put on the soundboard? I'm not going to talk about him anymore. That's what I want to get. And every time she says that and she starts talking about him, we're going to play it over and over. Look at my buddy. Look at my, look, look at my buddy. Look at my buddy. So until I get that clip, we'll just start using. Look at my buddy. For that instead. That's heavy. Let's get some food. Why did I stop Ozempic, Ange? Um, I just, I went to the doctor and she just didn't think I needed to be re like, uh, prescribed it because of my sugar levels. I, I, she said my A1C was like six or something like that. Six something. Like my blood sugars have been really low and I think it's from just not eating out every day. I'm not on stimulant. I, w I hate anything stim- I like down. Feeling calm. Remember? That's how, what I like. You said you still do. She, of course she doesn't like to feel, uh, she doesn't like uppers. You want to know why? Because uppers make you feel like doing shit. Maybe like cleaning your house. Y'all ever been- I mean, I- look, dude. <laughs> I've never, I don't like drugs. I think they're gross. Like, I've really just do not like drugs. I've seen my whole family and shit fall victim to that shit. I was with somebody some years ago, okay, about 17 years ago. And they took me to their mom's house. And I had no idea that their mom was, um, I didn't even really know what meth was then. This, you know, this was back in 2000 and 2001, 2002. So, like, when I was growing up around that age, like, you know, my family, people that struggled with drug problems it was crack you know so I knew like you know the crackheads behavior and shit I really didn't know much about meth and so when they took me to their mom's house and um they I found out that they had done they were meth users these people were on the floor I'm not even kidding you like that house and it's either either or with meth people I know but whatever but a lot of people when they get on those uppers like meth they're they're witness they're, they were literally cleaning their floors with freaking toothbrushes. I've never seen shit like that. The uppers will make you get off your ass and do something. They'll speed you up. That's why they're called speed, Chantel. Also, I'm pre-diabetic and my sugars range between 5.5 and 6. And other stuff, she's still very much pre-diabetic. Not her teeth and mass destruction. But does see, thank you for the super chat. I believe that she's a full-blown diabetic. And she's in denial about that. I knew meth addicts in the 80s. Well, Bella, my area, like, I mean, it depends on, it's it's a geographical thing, right? Like, some areas, 
they have different drugs before other areas, whatever. But where I was at, like, there was a bunch of crackheads. Like, meth was not a thing, okay? <laughs> meth users love to work on cars. Yeah, diet pills can. are great. <laughs> Anyways, um, is anybody surprised that she actually likes to feel that way <laughs> all day long? Like, somebody might like to smoke a joint or something before they go to bed. Like, the stuff that makes you feel like that slows you down. Because you're, you're trying to relax before you go to bed, help you sleep better. She wants to feel like that all day long. Quick, someone get Chantel some meth. <laughs> hey, Nemery's BJ's for Baba Ganesh. Welcome, welcome. Why she's not on Olympic anymore. Oh, no, I didn't. Let me, I was too busy running my mouth. Hold on. New Coke. Then he's fucking lying because I don't. <clears throat> Actually, his videos are the video where he's mad. Like he's stimulant. I I have sick something. Like my blood sugars have been really low, and I think was, I I better, and it doesn't have to feel this. Heavy. It's just to talk bad about him. I'm just venting my feelings. That's it. I'm trying Look to my body. My feelings right now. Life doesn't have to feel this heavy. Let's get some food. Why did I stop Ozempic, Ange? Um, I just I went to the doctor, and she just didn't think I needed to be re like uh, prescribed it because of my sugar levels. I I she said. Chantel quit taking Ozempic because she didn't want to pay the three hundred dollars every month because she is in Canada where healthcare is free, but when it comes to paying for prescriptions, I believe. I mean, I'm no Canadian. I mean, I'm a Canadian, but I don't live in Canada. Um, I believe you have to pay for your prescriptions. She didn't want to pay the $300 a month for the Ozempic, period. My A1C was like six or something like that. Six something. Like my blood sugars have been really low. And I think it's from just not eating out every day. I'm not on stimulant. I, I hate anything stim- I like down. Feeling calm. Remember? That's how, what I like. He said you still do coke. Then he's fucking lying because I don't. <clears throat> Actually, his videos are- The video where he's mad live stream, a lot of it's lies. Lies, 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 lies. He thinks I'm being bad to him by going for dinner with Pete. By accidentally leaving these clips in. By talking about him online. And Okay, I want to smoke the rest of my- Oh, so he said something about her going to dinner with oh, yeah. Pete's, and she knew. The only reason Pete's, the only reason she took you out for dinner was to make her, uh, boyfriend jealous. I hope you know that. At least you got some free food. I don't care about race and color or whatever when I'm dating somebody. Except for gingers. I don't like them. Oh, you guys thought I was calling him honey? I wasn't calling him honey. He was asking if I wanted honey or syrup in the drink. So what happened was he was asking if I wanted honey or syrup. I believe that she did hate every time she does coke. I think she only does it to, to look cool. To be like, look at me, guys. I'm some drug addict, you know? <laughs> Even though I'm almost 40, look how cool I am. She hates that shit. In the drink. And I said, like, I ignored that question. Like, I kind of just, like, was like, but do you put vanilla in it, too? And then that's when he said, yes, but can we just focus on the syrup? And I'm like, I don't know. He's just high. He's a high-strung person. Very high-strung. <laughs> Oh, Are you gonna use forty eight dollars so worth of weed in one day? Yep. Sam's paw. <laughs> he knows I'm gonna touch it. Watch. Cats hate that. Please, you. I feel like I like ruined his life, like his reputation. <laughs> he ruined his own life with his actions. You? Are you kidding me? Look! Look at my body. By the way, I thought we weren't talking about body. him anymore. Look at my look! Look! Look at my body. Oh wow, Chantel, you really are stupid. Which he denies, which makes me look stupid. That's something that bugs me. I go through a cycle within my own brain where I like miss. Oh, never mind. I'm so tired of talking about it. Why is his life Look at my body. Because people, because him online has told everybody everything about everything, so. No, that's in his name? Like, if they. <laughs> Sam's future wifey, you better. <laughs> tread lightly, honey. Tread lightly. Google his name. He's a drug user, blah, blah, blah. He's an abuser, blah, blah. Actually, last night was awful. So, between that, with the whole drama with the leaving that thing in the video, when it was awful. I wish I wasn't there when it happened. And then today, more trying to convince I didn't do it on purpose and just, no, you're right. Yeah. I don't need this shit. I'm not the kind of person to just be like, oh, well, you treated me like shit, so I'm gonna leave you high and dry. I'm not like that. So that's why I was trying to help him have his channel and everything too, because I didn't feel bad like talking about him and putting him online without his choice. So, suffering. Chantel is not this caring person that just feels bad for people when they're in such a position and she just wants to help him out because she's just such a good person. No, because she's still holding on to the fact that she wants to be his girlfriend. That's it. Nothing else. Do you think that she would still show Nodder this kind of support? and love if he literally legit had a girlfriend no she would not she'd cut him off and god knows what she would try to do to him and his youtube channel this is bullshit ask her if she'd have the same energy would she do the same thing for him if he had a woman ask her see what she says she probably lie about it the cat is sharpening his claws and plotting his attack <laughs> Hey, Catherine. About his feelings, he never worries about you. Actually, I feel like he doesn't like smoking right beside me, or yeah, I don't feel like he cares about. That's me. good, Linda. I mean, I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm just that's how I feel. Because for Shannon, she not only did that, but she also then went and like bestied up with made a reaction chain hater channel. <laughs> like, 
what to talk about me albeit she has a right to do that and talk about our situation if she wants to i feel like somebody who's supposedly such a good friend for 20 years like i would just expect more from her than him it's a matter of expectation and it's just how i feel hurt maybe it's not logical but that's how i feel it's taken a while to see like also just i don't feel like he cares about me so as a person or my feelings it's not really worth it look y'all really get... know how i feel about the shannon shit i don't like it at all but the fact that she would sit there and compare what shannon did to what Nader did and Nader li literally laid his hands on her and put her through hell for the last six months but she's willing to forgive him and you know still financially support him and all that but Shannon uh, oh no no she's you know the scum of scum under her foot or whatever Ramen Harrison my love hey Metallic it's been a while since I've seen you around good to see you <laughs> How is she still fuzzy about whether or not he cares about her? Delusion, Lucy. She's just delusional. We have been... <laughs> Elizabeth, she's got nerves saying that she wouldn't date a gin ginger. I've seen some really hot gingers. Guys and girls. Much from it, actually, this relationship. Except for just stress and grief. You can repair every aspect of your health channel relationship, and yet you constantly sit, eat, get high. And exactly, LL. Explain. I don't know, LL. I don't know. Avoidance. But you guys are right. Why shouldn't I care about myself more? Like, tell if you, if you know love, if you tolerate his abuse, it's going to get worse. Are you prepared for that? What do you mean, like, just the way he talks to me? Tough. He thinks I left it in because he doesn't trust me because of all the times I went online and talked crap about him. He thinks I left it in to be like, see, I can fuck up your life by exactly, editing Exactly, Shannon kind of. doesn't have a penis. She hates women. And she, she doesn't, it's just because she is jealous of other women. But she could be everything that other women are. She just doesn't want to put in the work. I'm not like that. Like I like that actually hurts. Like he thinks I'm like his enemy. <laughs> and like all I've ever done hurts. is like everything I've ever done is try to make him happier. I just feel more confused. After no, it's not. You don't come online. Remember when she first came online and how like if you tell a story about your partner and you say that you're so scared of them, if she had stayed on Ozempic and Vyvanse as prescribed, she could be under 250 and got her life together by now. What a waste. MB agreed. And thank you for being a member for two months. If you have a partner and you go online and say that your partner, that you're so terrified of your partner, did anybody watch that video that I was just talking about on Twitter of the football player assaulting his girlfriend? Do you understand, Chantel, what real abuse is? Somebody should send that video to Chantel so maybe she can understand what abuse is. But let's say if that woman, if that woman did something like that, and then kept going back to this guy. And people kept, you know, what are, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Do you think that Chantel's ever actually been abused? Do you think that Nodder's really abused Chantel? I mean, and I mean actually abused her. When you see actual abuse like that on Twitter and you hear Chantel using that shit to her advantage in her storyline, it just doesn't. It doesn't add up, man. Already lied. It's hard to watch. He knocked that woman out in the elevator. That video is awful. The one I'm talking about, they were at home and he literally picked her up and threw her into the TV and in her kid's uh, bouncy chair. It was horrible. And then you go and say things like paperclip and everything and then you stay with this dude and talk about... Ugh, it's just so weird. It's bizarre. Whatever. We'll never figure out Chantel. All Chantel is pathetic, desperate, and that's it. I would have a nervous breakdown if I watched my life. Those I agree. He told her no, so that means he's abusive. I'm sorry. I agree. Very heavy stuff, isn't it? I was just thinking, like, going through all this shit, I had you guys to talk to. So going through all this shit, it's pretty heavy for you, too. So I think you get to talk on reaction, reaction channels or, like, your therapist today he was like no we're done yeah he's like oh you ruin any chance of a relationship with me and if you keep going it's gonna be, be no friendship like what are you fucking serious fuck this shit honestly i'm just I'm, t I'm actually tired more tired i think at this point and then in love at this point for real i'm not joking i'm, I'm more seeing it more i think i just didn't want to see anything like and then i think like when you say everything happens for a reason i think that part was left in maybe for me to see how he talks to me because I, I like wanted to cry like so bad like i felt so bad like i could just feel my face getting hot like i did something really bad like i was like we were doing something and i realized like i was like, he was watching his video it was published and i was just like then i could hear like my heavy breathing i'm like what is it sounds like an unedited part and then i heard him like bitching and i was like oh, i left the part in oh my god i was like what else did i leave in oh my god you know and then like he got mad at me 
And he always says like, you're free to leave. Like, you're okay to go. You don't have to stay. But if I want to go, he'll be like, like I have to like argue with him for like ever to go. Are you coming back? Like what time's your therapy? What time are you coming back? But if we're not a couple, do you know what I mean? The more I think about it, like why? I feel like when I smoke and I do edibles, I feel more, like I know I look a zombie, but I feel more clear headed. Like, Holy shit, this makes my head spin. Like, like more truth comes out. I don't want to just talk shit. I don't want to just talk shit this whole time. Yeah, I talk about something else. I don't know what to talk Look about. Look at my body. I some pogos, I think. And spaghetti. I gotta go upstairs because my stupid phone is gonna die. I'm gonna interrupt this mukbang. Hold on. Can I use your charger? <laughs> Sorry to warm your mukbang. Tasha, I agree. And I think that's why when people had such a problem with it at the beginning and people were like, oh, you can't say what's abuse and what's not abuse. I, when you see what that guy did to that girl and then you hear Chantel crying about her little boyfriend that she keeps running back to, I mean, you can I bet, Kenzie. I bet this. And, and that's the thing, Kenzie. You got to be careful because it can drain you, too. You you can't let it, though. I'm not on live or anything. Oh, uh, there it idea. is. Can I use your turn? Wow, there it is. Okay, just, <laughs> just one more. Just one more little slow-mo, okay? This will be it. Interrupt this thing. Hold on. Can I use your I love how you threw in his view, too. She's talking in circles exactly, Mary. Charger. Look. Especially if you're a YouTuber where you live stream your life. Why do you not have three or four chargers, Chantel? Hi, everybody. I'm not on live or anything. Look at her. Uh, just a regular video. Can I use your charger? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking about uh, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yep. How we met and became friends. Oh, cool. Remember when we used to, like, go out behind that school? Oh, and I used to pee outside? I didn't mention it. You have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like going to the school to pee. And poop. So weird, dude. It's so bizarre. Oh, I did? Oh, yeah. You poop right behind the dumpster. Oh, well. But she, yeah, she pee a lot. She'd go back there and yeah, we'd go back there She'd and that's, I didn't want to mention it, but since she did. That's what their memories are based on is that Chantel's shit in the back of the school. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> Those arms. When she cannot get over the arms. It's the arms. <laughs> the janitor must be confused. He's to poop. It doesn't sound like me. 450 LDs. There? My phone died. Can you look at me? that. Now, when you see her right there, she does not look like anything that she just looked like in that clip. She does not. Stream. Why, why can't you just go do something else? Maybe some people like me to just sit here. Let's call Natter and say it's over. It's it's over. It's been over. It's over. Look at my body. That's the most logical thing before people end up hurt in prison or I don't know what, but I'm torn between wanting to do what's right for myself and love myself and be respectful to myself versus just do what feels good, but it's not even feeling good anymore. That's the thing. Thinking of going back there is stress for me. I do look stupid too. Like I look like a freaking asshole. Maybe I'll just order some junk food and then go watch movies. I think I'll do that for a while. Draw a unibrow. Are you happy, Axie? A mustache? Fine. What you want? I'm gonna do like one of those mustaches that's like I hit puberty, but I also drank too much Mountain Dew growing up, and now my balls only half dropped. My name is Steve. What the hell? What is this? What is this? Fuckle Sora's rice. Oh gosh, what is this? I don't understand. The curtains and match the drapes. Oh, I do look like freaking Ron right now. <laughs> no offense to him. <laughs> Remember, Nicole wants you to come see what I look like and get your reaction. Wow. Still too early. I have a unibrow. Yeah. <laughs> Pete's is the uh, worst person to get a reaction from. That's true. <laughs> he does nothing. I don't want to wear this on in my face anymore. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Wow. Did I scare you? All right, so that's it. You Third would think, you would think, kitchen mom, that this is your brain on drugs, but honestly, this is your brain when your mom fucks your uncle. Sorry. Sorry.
Oh, we had so much in the comments. Sorry. I texted him and just said I can't see you anymore. You don't treat me good. I didn't call. I just texted and. Look at my buddy. He just replied, send me my videos. That's it. No, but no, he doesn't care at all. I'll send him his videos. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I remember somebody saying something about this part. Hold on. Did I scare you? All right. So that's it. I ordered my food. I texted him and just said, I can't see you anymore. You don't treat me good. I didn't call. So she texted him and told him that she can't see him anymore because he doesn't care about her. Blah, blah, blah. And what was it that, what did he say to you, Chantel? Uh, did he say, I'm, I know what he said. I know what he said because if he loves you, like you say he does, right? I mean, if he um, <clears throat> is the type that, you know, you're willing to go put groceries in his refrigerator and do all the stuff that you do for him, okay? Here's what he said. I'm so sorry, Chantel, that you feel that way. I really love you and I really care about you. And I apologize for making you feel that way, right? Because. I'm a real man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a real man. Right? So that's definitely what he said. Tell us, go ahead and tell us. Go ahead and tell us what he said. I just texted and he just replied, send me my videos. That's it. No. <laughs> that has got to be the most messed up stuff that I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say it again, Chantel. I wouldn't even admit that, dude. I, I wouldn't even tell nobody if there was like if somebody did that to me. Hell no. You know, I'm really hurt. I just don't think I'm gonna come over anymore. And they replied back, send me my videos. <laughs> Happy birthday, Emily. <laughs> I gotta hear it again. My face anymore. I'll uh, I'll be right back. Did I scare you? Him. All right, so that's it. I ordered my food. I texted him and just said I can't see. Oh, Emily, I guess people seen it before I did. I'm sorry. It's my 65th birthday. Emily, thank you for being a member for two months and happy birthday to you. Happy 35th birthday because I know that's how you feel at heart, right? I hope you have a good one, love. Everybody give Emily some birthday love in the chat. <laughs> uh, it's a good show today. Good day to be 65. I'm telling you, you're only as old as you feel. You're 65 years young. Don't you forget it, neither. Take over the world today, Emily. See you anymore. You don't treat me good. I didn't call. I just texted. And he just replied, send me my videos. That's it. No, but no. Nope, <laughs> I'll send him his. <laughs> Look at her. What man? I mean, honestly, you can't even be mad at the dude. Look at her. Look at this all over her. Look at her. Look at her little pen drawing on her face. You can't even be mad at the guy. You can't send me my videos. Videos, and that'll be it. I'm not looking for a fight. I'm not looking to hurt anymore. Look at my body. Pete, stop making me wash my face. Don't ask me when I'm wearing jeans. All right, gorgeous. That's right. What is that spot on our shirt? For the love of God, can we get through this video? Whoa, Chantel, Chantel. And he just replied, send me my videos. That's it. No, 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 no. I'll send him his videos and that'll be it. I'm not looking for a fight. I'm not looking to hurt anymore. I gotta go wash my face. Pete, stop making me wash my face. <laughs> Look at that. What is this? Is that part of the shirt? Or is that fucking slobber or something? <laughs> oh my god. Don't ask me what. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, she literally gave up her whole life. Her whole life. Like, life is so precious. I don't care who you are. Life is so precious. We don't know that when we leave this planet, if we're going to get another one. All we know that when our time's up, our time's up. Okay? So, and I know that a lot of us, you know, we bullshit our time, right? But she has literally given up her life to be a joke on the internet. That's some real shit. Look at this. This is how she wants to go out, dude. This is it. <laughs> well, I don't even get it. I'm wearing jeans. All right, gorgeous. That's right, that's me. So what I added to this moisturizer is I added oh, some God. almond oil because almond oil actually is really good for the skin. Matter if you're watching, since I can't reply to your text, I will send you look a video my after. I'm done here. I promise. You will not look this beautiful at 40 if you do not follow my skincare regime. <laughs> you're probably like, okay, I will not buy your cream. What people do, uh, that's true. What people do to you is their karma. How you respond is your karma.
I need hair fibers. Yeah, there we go. My skin's like breaking out. I think it's from the I gorgeous. Remember, I was gonna return the gorgeous moisturizer because its skin was so irritated. All right, I feel fresh faced. What? I'm not going anywhere. I had lots of THC. I'm not going anywhere. This thing on my lip is not getting any better. It's getting wolf. I'm going down to eat my wieners. Look at my. That's diabetes, Chantel. That's what it does. Widow's peak needs to be filled in. Why do I have Widow's Peak stubble? What the fuck? <laughs> Regrow the Widow's Peak. I know, look at there's a template. Get a clip on Widow's Peak. Hold on. <sighs> Let me recover. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that food on the counter where BBJ just threw up? Oh, Lord, take me now. Jesus, take me now. She didn't disinfect the counter. Oh, God. Do you remember? Oh, God. Do you remember the chicken tenders on the counter? She's going to do it again. She's going to do it again. I know it. What? I know what's coming. You didn't think I would go and get Pete to get my food, did you? Oh, I'm a she's woman. Gonna do it, I have a four ounce of meat sauce. Mm. Oh, oh God. God. All dressed hot dogs, pogos, and a large Italian cookie. I'm gonna make you hungry or throw out one of the two. <laughs> I think all the edibles are kicking in at once. You guys, I'm not gonna get any sex exercise. Is she putting fucking Parmesan cheese on top of that poutine? Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Right. Now I know sex is replaceable and don't laugh Listen, listen for those of you who want to talk about the Christmas card exchange Look, tomorrow I'm going out to get a, a, a P.O. box, well maybe Monday Fuck, I forgot I want to go live in the morning They close at 12 Either tomorrow or Monday So if y'all want to do this, we're not, it's not going to be no exchange man, there's too many of you guys There's no reason and I'm not going to feel bad like last year when cards kept getting returned but if y'all want to send me cards and um, I'll show them online and all that, we'll do that. Okay? So, so please, we'll get the P.O. box going. Okay? Do not worry. We got plenty of time. It's only the 19th. We got a whole month and like a week before Christmas gets here. Me? But this sex is not replaceable. Nobody else will do the deep and easy. <laughs> oh, he's probably going to be mad. What does she just call it? What does she just call it? Oh, boy. I don't even know what she just said. Hold on. All edibles are kicking in at once. You guys, I'm not gonna get any sex exercise. Now, I know sex is replaceable. And don't laugh at me, but this sex is not replaceable. Nobody else will do the deep and easy. Charlie, Jesus, take me now. I just tripped on the cord of my vacuum laughing. Charlie, hello. How are you today? Good to see you. Can somebody please tell me what she just described? What she just called? What she just said? Anybody? I, I don't think it was the dead dog. The deep yeasty? Fuck out of here! Fuck out here! Oh god! Is that what she really called it? <laughs> the deep yeasty? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Chantel, you literally make me fucking give me cold chills. I'm not even lying, dude. I <laughs> hear you, Pamela. <laughs> the deep yeasty. <laughs> oh, you're probably gonna be mad that I said that. Deep and easy is a type of sex. That's all I'm gonna say. Do a weigh in before the food? <laughs> okay, hold on. It's a type of sex, that's all I'm gonna say. Wow. Oh, gosh. Do I eat today? Body weight is 339. It's a whole lie. That's a whole lie. Add another hundo on there, okay? SOS. Um, yeah, I'm gonna assume that Niner's gonna get mad. <laughs> you know, like dudes like they don't you know what i mean like if you're out there bragging about how good it is you know they like that shit they ain't gonna that ain't gonna offend them at all but now if you're going out telling everybody that you're sticking your dick in your girl while she's got a serious yeast infection holy hell Woo! so you know what <clears throat> you know what guys i just thought about something S stop the press hold the press people I didn't even think about this. Marcia, good morning, Gabba and support group. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Marcia, we hope you have a wonderful weekend. And thank you for being a member for three months. Listen, people. Maybe when, guys, holy shit. Maybe Nodder was telling the truth when he, did, when he said he didn't have gonorrhea. Maybe she did lie about it. Maybe... Because we know that Chantel doesn't wipe. We know that Chantel, we're going to talk about it, people, because it's almost our holiday and, and we are making exceptions today. 
No, I don't think that she gave him the STD. I think she gave him, because you can give a dude a yeast infection. Yeah, it's nasty, but this is a reality that Chantel is living, and that's what we talk about. So maybe they didn't have gonorrhea. Maybe she had a real serious yeast infection, and he got it, and that's why he had to go to the doctors. And then she turned it into them having gonorrhea, because he's even said, I didn't have gonorrhea. And then she's going to say something like the deep yeasty or whatever. I'm going to say that these two didn't have gonorrhea like Nader said. And that he gave, she gave him a yeast infection. And that's why she blamed him. Because she did give it to him because she won't wipe her ass. And I don't feel sorry for you, Nader, because you're the one fucking her, you nasty fuck. Now, thanks to you, I'm probably going to lose my monetization. I'm going to expect my cut at the end of the month, Nader. It's 15th, 21st, whatever. I never considered it either. Creamy yeasty. Thank you, Nodder's teeth of mass destruction. But does see? <laughs> it is a conspiracy theory, but it's probably really close I'm a real to man. the truth if it's not the truth. Somebody's ring my doorbell. Oh, boy. I better check my... Hold on, people. I won't answer my door. I think it's my package. Oh, it is. Oh, it's, it's Sam, your chair's here. <laughs> if you're listening, she's gonna expect me to put it together too. Mm-hmm. It's 339.6. Alright, 339. We got an extra pound to go. Got an extra pound. Deep anisti, a play on copanisti, which he cooks. Mary Cab, how do you know these things? I like the deep and yeasty because it makes sense about the whole gonorrhea mess. <laughs> Damn it! So really? Is that what it is? What? Okay, look. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. When a girl's wrong, she's wrong. Maybe I am wrong. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. Whatever it is, it's nasty. Period. I still think she gave him a bad yeast infection. Then neither one of them had the gonorrhea. Okay? Oh, shit. <sighs> Hot dog, <coughs> hot dog, toasted. What do you with want coleslaw? the poll to say? The STD or or the yeast infection? Okay, we'll do a poll. All dressed. Why do I look like a pig? Oh, spilling. Mm. This is basically like a spaghetti with fries instead. Seven. You will find so many of them resonate with you. Be quiet, Patsy. As soon as I seen seven, I knew what you were gonna say. <laughs> but you're right. But you know what, Patsy? We all have those in us. We all have some of the seven deadly sins in us. Are you an angel? Anyways, I don't want to badmouth him. I don't know, I can't help it. I still care about him as a person. Anyways, we all have bad things about us. Like me too, you guys attack, like not attack, but you go after my character. Think my, I have a lot of personality flaws. The important thing is like, we try to be better people, you know? I'm not doing it for views. I swear, I swear to you guys. I just don't want, I just don't know what to say anymore. I think what makes me sad is if if somebody doesn't really realize what they're doing, like they don't think they're wrong, then there's no hope. He wants me to see that like Pete's, but it feels like, like I chose Pete. No man would want their girlfriend living with an ex. I don't agree because the situation, you know, like I do in a, in a way I do. I mean, I understand his point. Like he doesn't know, he probably doesn't know our dynamic either, Pete and I. Like he never liked the situation. He didn't get it from the beginning. And I just said, like, just, you know, that's how it is. Like, we're not like roommates. We're not like together, you know? He's just been, he's just been always supportive of me and like always a good friend. So. He thinks, like, he disrespects your He liked yeast infection, badusi, and dead doggy. That is nasty. Chantel's last ounce of dignity. Thank you for being a member for three months. And yes, he's a sicko. Plain and simple. Don't forget to vote on the poll, people. <clears throat> a yeast infection. <laughs> Fucking God. Uh, <clears throat> a yeast infection makes sense with him telling her to get all new underwear and wash herself. Why would she need to do this if she had gonorrhea in her throat? Mia agreed. And can't, thank you for the super <laughs> chat, by the way. Can't you get yeast infections in your mouth too? Right? Didn't, um, didn't know, uh, puppy mill over there had thrush in her mouth. Ain't that the same shit? Yeast infection in your mouth? So they, she, when the doctor said she had it in her throat, I'm pretty sure you can have that in your mouth too. I mean, I don't know, guys. I'm a simple girl, okay? I just go with what you guys tell me. Uh huh. Man, so I should be like sticking up and disrespecting me, he thinks, because he said, I don't care what Chantel thinks I'm going to say this online anyway. We've heard this all already, I know. This is so cheesy, I don't even want to eat it. There's a million ways you can get yeast infections. And just like an STD, if you have a yeast infection, does not mean that you are dirty or you, in, or you are nasty, okay? You could drink the wrong drink. You could wear the wrong underwear. 
But in Chantel's case, we're pretty sure that she got it. And while we're calling it, like, and we're making fun of it, is because she doesn't wipe after she pees or wipe her ass after she shits, okay? So please don't think that because you have, like, any of those problems, like, even the cleanest person, somebody who's married can get an STD, right? So don't take that, you know, the wrong way, people, please. <clears throat> Every story story arc, I think, is planned and discussed. Chatty Cathy, can't argue with that. Couldn't say you were even wrong. It probably is. Thank you for the super chat. I'm more on the fence if they're just stupid. Tight jeans. Yep, that's another way. Antibiotics. Yes. <laughs> Nikki, I think I've told you all the story. <laughs> that they gave, they gave me a, a dose of antibiotics. <laughs> And I came home and I ended up getting, and I usually don't talk like this, but yeah, I got a bad yeast infection. I was like, holy hell, I've never had this before. And I was telling my friend, she was like, girl, you got to call your doctor. They got to prescribe you something. Those things can cause you to have yeast infection. So yeah. Mm -hmm. In mucous membrane. Thank you, the nine lives of Sandy. I appreciate the super chat. It's the story that matters. Exactly, Lindsay. Let's get through the rest of this, guys. It's after 11. <sighs> That's it. Pete has a right to be upset as my best friend for how he was treating me at the time. But that proves he doesn't see a problem with that. How he, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going over there Chantel, right he's never... You want him so bad, hey, Carrie, to feel bad about the way he's treated you. Or you want so bad for him to appreciate you. Girl, it ain't gonna happen. Are you gonna wait around for him to punch you in the face? Is that what you want, Chantel? You want him to black your eye? You want to really get knocked out, Chantel, because I'm going to tell you now, it's going to change who you are completely. When a man actually puts his hands on you and knocks you out, it changes who you are. You'll never be the same. Is that what you're going to wait? You're going to wait until he does that and then hope that, what, he says sorry for actually physically abusing you? Okay, Chantel, you better think about that. I'm going to send him his videos. Like, they're not edited, so I'll just send them. Doesn't like my editing anyways. I mean, I can understand being upset. Like, it's embarrassing, but if he weren't talking to me that way, there wouldn't really be anything to be embarrassed about. But at the same time, he is very animated when he talks too, though. He is. So it's hard to tell sometimes if he's upset, but this is the best part. It all boils down to Nader not accepting <laughs> responsibility for that? any of his own actions. Yeah. But it's not like I want Pete's involved in my love life all the time either, but this is different. This is not shit. Kelly, I think so. This is my life experience. You taught him how he can and cannot treat you. You didn't set boundaries from day one. That's true. I still struggle with that. It's hard setting boundaries and sticking to them, especially against somebody who's- Willie, are you new here? What do you mean? Is this another reaction channel? What's your question, Willie Rot? <laughs> Willie Rot. Is your Willie Rotten off? You been out here like Nodder doing the, uh, the nasty dead dog. So, like, more dominating than you. One, the big up the phone. Don't let him in. He'll give you the clap and go on again. <laughs> that's, that's redundant. Only You only need one. I went and got retested, by the way. We both did. No, EG, they're not in yet. And they only call if they're if they're positive. I got one every time I take antibiotic. You can also get them from holding your pee for long periods of time. Too, too many ways to get them. Agreed, Agreed, Aaron. Thank you for the super chat. Why can't he just be <clears throat> nicer to me? Why are you giving me the death? Oh, is that Why it? are you no. giving me the okay. deaths there? I'm very uncomfortable right now. I'm gonna go sleep on the couch right now with my seatbelt. I'm thinking of like watching a movie and just relaxing. I'm not feeling too well. Okay, I'll be <laughs> back after guys. The I'm reaction go. channel. I'll be back. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Okay, well, Chantel. Isn't Willie from Chantel's chat? Willie coming out here kicking on our door because his woman ain't been live. Uh, somebody sent me a DM on Twitter yesterday. I didn't get to respond, but I seen the link. I guess some of her VIBs have their own channel and they went live. <laughs> Sound like a whole mess over there. So many reaction channels. I thought this was an update from the beast herself. Cheerio. Uh, no, but can you let us know or get a hold of her and tell her, like, come on, get on with the program. Okay, we are obsessed. We have no problem admitting that. Yes, Chantel, you're right. We're obsessed. We're waiting on you. We're depending on you for content. Get two, get two. I'm going to live my best yeast-free life. I'm dead. <clears throat> that was a pretty good show, guys. Yes, please like the stream. Don't remember, guys. Don't, don't remember. Don't forget, guys, like we said earlier about life being precious. Even if you're going through something, man, find something that you're going to enjoy to do. If it's just for the day and trying to make yourself happy, smile, you know. Holidays are coming up. I know it makes a lot of people sad, but try to find enjoyment in it.
You're very welcome, Kenzie, and thank you. You're the real hero of the show. Hell, that was a six-hour live stream, people. Seriously, Kenzie set through a six-hour live stream and got it down to uh, less than an hour. That takes some real, you know, you got to be able to sit there and go through all that shit and tolerate Chantel. And, not, and it's not just listening to her one time. You listen to that shit over and over and over and over, okay? So sub up the girl, the, the things at the top of the screen. Oh, let's end the poll. Uh-oh. Hey, you're just getting here. You love the thumbnail. Thank you so much. Did they have an STD or a yeast infection? 62% say STD. 37% think it was a yeasty puss. <laughs> 713 votes. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, Kelly, you should. You should all get some little bit of motivation and not just feel. Because I know that watching Chantel can sometimes be draining, right? So you got to find your happiness too. Like watch the shit show, but also find other happiness. Like there's plenty of, um, if you got to stay home all day, put you some background music. They got uh, lo-fi channels. Listen to that. They even got some, uh, what was I listening to last night? Um, you know, the meditation music. Oh, those are really good channels too. The storms, where you can hear the storms, the rain. There's some good shit online if that's what you got to do. It's nice out. Go for a walk. If you're in an uh, area where it's sun shining, not too cold, not too hot. Happy birthday to all our birthday people. Okay? Don't worry. I'm going to try to be here tomorrow. Sam's got to work tomorrow, so I'm going to think I'm going to come on, but it's going to be early while the kids are sleeping. <clears throat> Everybody on Chantel watch, too. Have her notifications on, your bells on for Chantel. She's missing. MIA. Chantel said she only made 4K in November. She hasn't been live that much. I can believe that. <laughs> Lo-fi is great. It's good. It's good for the spirit. Anyways, live your best life is all I'm trying to say. Okay? You live your best life, I'm going to go live mine. Christmas shopping, that sounds like fun. PMA. Mm -hmm. Hell, even if you got to take and uh, maybe print some pictures off at the library just to color for Christmas and hang them up around your house, good enough. Okay? Doesn't matter what you do. Cleaning and redecorating makes you. We're going to put the tree up this week, this Sunday. <clears throat> Quentin, member for two months. Love you, Yabba. Love you too. Thank you for being a member. Yeah, but y'all have a good day. And I will see y'all in the morning. It's a Saturday show tomorrow. Don't forget. Okay? Yes, go hang out in the Discord. Hold on. I've deleted that. I didn't delete it, but I moved the shortcut. Hold on. I'm going to drop a link for those who want to go join the Discord. If I can. Hell, it's been so long since I did it. I don't know if I remember how. Don't switch. Um, hmm. Oh, hell. That ain't it. Is it here? Okay. Maybe I need to go down to our thing. Got it. Wow, y'all really done some stuff here, huh? Copy. I think I think I got it. Hold on, guys. There we go. If you want to go join a Discord, click the link in the chat. <laughs> Look, Lindsay coming in after me. <laughs> y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all in the morning. Bye, guys.